You're now listening to the Something Good Podcast Network. Please press any key to continue. It's time for... The gorilla's name is Taz. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode of this fucking guy. With me, as always, is Mikey Black. What's up, everybody? All right. With us, additionally, <laughs> with us, additionally, is the one, the only, the guy that designed the logo, the guy that has the biggest hammer in town. His name is David. We call him Spovit. How you doing, buddy? Doing good, man. How about you guys? Pretty good. It's it's weird to say how are you doing after we've been sitting here talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one told, no one even told you to do that. Yeah. yeah. So why'd you ask us? You're right. <laughs> I'm a phony. You're a fraud. I'm a goddamn phony. I think by my account, this is like the fourth time I've been on the show. There it is. Fifth, if we count the phone call. Oh, he's a five timer. I think. Are you? I think you've been on more than anybody. Probably. Maybe. I think Maybe. so. Most likely. What a week it's been. Yeah. What a week of events it's been. Dude, it's yeah. spring. Oh man, spring is sprung. We sprung yeah. forward. Sprung We're in forward. the future. Oh yeah. The Fell sun on sleep. <laughs> yes, the sun going down a little bit later now, <laughs> which is amazing. Yeah, uh, which feels That's great. Like right part. now, it would be dark as we're recording. Yeah, and uh, I feel like we got energy. Yep. You know, we look good. Some of us, I think we're doing it. Yeah, see you guys in daylight. I might still take y'all home from the bar. Hell yeah! Hell hey, a couple yeah. more of these. A uh, couple more of these mead drinks. Oh yeah, right for here. sure. Huh? I mead it. Hey, do you know how you get mead? Uh, no. You really got to get in there and molest that honey. <laughs> and the honey goes, hey, I'm a part of the Me Too movement. <laughs> Damn it. Wow. Leave <laughs> <laughs> me <meet> along. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to beat my mead later thinking about that joke. I don't know if you meet it. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> Did you think you just a couple of amateurs? <laughs> Did you guys think in 2024 you would just be listening to three boys go back and forth talking about mead? Nope. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Yeah. Right? No. No. <laughs> no, everything's just changing, man. What was that gorilla's name again? It's the gorilla's name? <laughs> yeah. I believe it was Taz. Taz. <laughs> Taz. <laughs> That's what it was. The gorilla's name was Taz. We hope you guys enjoyed yep. last week's episode. That was the name of the gorilla dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I knew this. Uh, Taz. <laughs> I knew this, uh, this gorilla uh, named Taz. <laughs> There's a bunny. Yeah, man. We got him in the yard, man. There's a bunny. Can you pull that up? <laughs> the bunny's yeah. the guy in the box. Yeah. Oh, uh, Mikey, what you been up to, buddy? Uh, just running. <clears throat> Running. Just running, just running, running, and 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 running, and running, and running, and running, Lose control. Turn the flow. Oh, man. What have I been up to? Yeah, what have you been up to? Oh, you know. Just working. Working, playing music. Doing shit with Collective Insanity. Hell yeah. 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 Oh, man. Spoken. What's been going on in your life? Just working on some little art projects on the side. Ooh, Redesigned yeah. my logo a little bit. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, I saw some inspiration playing uh, Skull and Bones, the pirate game I got into. Yeah, you told us you were going to start that. Was, did you say that here first? Right? I, th- I think the last podcast, yeah, I mentioned that I was kind of on the fence about it, and <laughs> somebody gifted me a key to it. So there it is. I'm like, yep, I guess I'm playing it now. It's free. <laughs> well, nice. give, us, give us your in depth review. Uh, so far, I like it. It's more like an MMO like uh, World of Warcraft or something like that where you got multiple up to like I think 20 ships on a server each player is their own ship Uh and you go and you collect materials to build new ships you're collecting resources and basically the end game of it all similar to like GTA where you get your drug businesses and stuff like that and you're going and collecting uh, currency from that stuff while fighting off other people fighting off the end game uh there's little factions and companies in the game they are like yeah fuck you you're gonna give us our cut and they're chasing down trying to sink you so it's been pretty fun I know a lot of people that have played Sea of Thieves another popular pirate game they're like man this game's just trying to step on Sea of Thieves and it's like no they're totally different games yeah um, yes they're both pirate games that's about it yeah. uh, everything else is very different 
Well, that would be like if you're saying like every racing game is the same. Yeah. Or you got exactly. Street Racer, Drag, and NASCAR, and yeah. Dirt. And this is like trying to compare maybe NASCAR to freaking Need for Speed Underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a completely different concept. It's like, yeah, they're both racing games, but they're completely different. Yeah. yeah. I think the, the Deagle is the Deagle's all rabbit. The Deagle's in full force today. Oh. Deagle found a bunny. <gasps> Look at that wingspan. Yeah. That is one impressive deagle. <laughs> if anything, no one's been on the podcast more than the deagles. That's yeah. not even us. That's why they're in artwork. <laughs> yeah, the deagles in the artwork. Yeah, this is this is the uh, They found that bunny you were looking at. Mikey Dante and Deagle Show. That was also the that was the first name of the podcast. Yeah. We uh, we changed it. <laughs> like, yeah. We thought this sounded uh, a little bit better. Yeah, and guys, if you're a part of our Discord, uh, we're going to be more active. Sorry about that, but uh, why don't you get in there? You're speaking for both of us, or like, yeah, both of like us. you and David, right? All, all three yeah. of us. And no. the Deagle. Oh shit! Daily yeah. coach with the Deagle. That's got to happen now. <laughs> um, you guys should get in there and convince David that. Or do you prefer me to call you David or Spovid? David's fine. Spovid's more like a screen name, just like you know, everybody's got their gamer tags on Xbox and PlayStation. Um, just kind of what gamers know me as, but. You guys know me personally. It's, it's David's it's fine. Yeah. It's cooler. Yeah. We want you guys to help convince David that he needs a, his own podcast to compete with all the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> so get into that Discord and uh, what do you post? What are you doing Discord? You post? Do you, you comment? Post, yeah, yeah, it's like a message board. A shit post? You get in there and do whatever. Shit yeah. On post. I uh, I've been working on my Discording. Yeah. And um, I'm up to one post a month now. Nice, nice. Which is up tremendously from my zero post a month. Yeah. Huh. So I'm working. Hey, you're doing better at Fireball. He probably still doesn't know what a Discord is. True, because he's so old. <laughs> hey, he's only like <laughs> six <laughs> months older than me. Well, no, that's his thing. Is like back when I was coming up. Hey, man. Hey, back when I was coming up. Listen, <laughs> some of the shit he's telling you guys. I'm like, I'm the same age. I don't remember it that way. Uh, yeah, he. <laughs> He grew up, he's older and poor. So yeah. that's, that's what he, he grew up. Oh, I can say it. We're buddies. We're friends. We're friends. He calls me shithead oh, every shit. time I talk to him about me. I can say it. He grew up poor, okay? That's what, <laughs> that's why he, he, the things that he talked about in his childhood aren't like, they're not supposed to be from that childhood. Yeah. They were in the 80s and 70s. He and just also, you know, with it. growing up in North Carolina, I always heard that South Carolina was like 15 years behind us. So, I mean, that, that could play into it as well. I genuinely believe that because I was born in 98. And then, like, so I'm a 90s baby, but, like, I was a baby in the 90s. You know what I mean? So, like, I should yeah. remember. But because of where I grew as a small town, it's like we did get things later. So, I did kind of still experience the 90s, it felt like. You know, we were watching the reruns of all the shows that everyone else was watching live. I wonder what's going to happen with Corey and Topanga. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's like this show, this show ended like six years ago. Yeah. Oh. Didn't have internet to spoil it back then either. Hell no, dude. Well, my cousin said he watched this last year, and this is what said. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> Your cousin's a liar anyways. We're watching it. It's this brand new episode. Yeah, this, this. Wrestling before the internet was fun. Oh, my God. Everybody's yes. like, what's Kane Undertaker's real names? Are they really brothers? Yeah. And shit like that. Or like the surprise of like a... Random, random appearances. You yeah, know, you see then, and people are like, I, I wonder why we don't get that anymore. It's like, well, because every time somebody fucking shows up at a building, there's twenty pictures of them getting out of his car. I mean, we had it to a to a degree back then, but like dirt sheets were always kind of behind. They didn't have that instant gratification like the internet gives you. Yeah, yeah. So if somebody came up with a rumor. By the time that rumors hit print, it's already it's happened. happened. Yeah, that's like SNL was like that too. Like the good skit. If you didn't miss that good skit live on TV, good that good sketch on TV, you had to wait months for a rerun. Yeah. Or they used to do like uh, I think they would do Sunday morning like quick quick reruns or something like that. Um, imagine that though as an entertainer. Like me, I'm so like not obsessed with like when I put something out. <laughs> when I put something out, I'm literally just like <laughs> the people are just butt fucking. He's just playing. He's butt fucking and <laughs> lick nutting. It's spring. Love is in the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zuko looked at me like, oh, they saw that. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah, if I put out content, like if I put out a TikTok or like a stand up special or a bit or something online, I'm like immediately like, all right, are people thinking this is funny? Are people yeah. liking it? Or uh, what's the. So to, um, to imagine like 
you don't hear until reviews come out. Yeah, you wait till the reviews hit oh, print. That yeah, would for kill sure. me. That would kill me. I, I I bug Alex every week about this podcast. I'm like, hey, what? Uh, what's the numbers? What's like? the number? I wanted. I also huh? text him like the, that weekend. Like, hey, well, what do we do this weekend? Like, just to see. You put it out uh, Wednesday morning, and by Wednesday evening, hey, what's it look like? Yeah, what's what's going on here? And uh, just went live like ten hours ago. Remember that bomb episode we sent you? How'd that do? Yeah, yeah. how'd that really good episode? <laughs> yeah, what's going on with it? What's happening with it? You mean the episode that was just. 45 minutes of loud music and you guys screaming back and forth. <laughs> it was, yeah. It was scary when y'all turned the lights out, though. I was scared in my car. See? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking. The, the crowd's gonna love, your listeners are gonna love this dude. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're really gonna tell the difference, buddy. Oh, man. Me and, me and Fireball, I feel like we got closer last weekend. We spent pretty much the entire weekend together. Saturday, oh, yeah. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we were, we were like every day together. Yeah. Um, so I feel like we just got closer. We bonded. So that's why I feel comfortable making fun of them. Yeah. <laughs> Calling them poor. Yeah. 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 Listen, dude. Trust me, man. I just love how his uh, his routine every night is to smoke a cigar and drink a soda. Yeah. And when he's on vacation. <laughs> like, goddamn. That's dude. his breakfast on vacation. Where Mikey's more of a coffee and a cigarette kind of guy. On vacation? Yeah. What, yeah, what are you doing on vacation, Mikey? Walk us through. It's a, it's a vacation morning with Mikey. Oh, uh, man. I guess it depends on who I'm vacationing with. The past seven years, it's all been with my girlfriend, so usually it ends up going to the gym. Oh. <laughs> or bringing but, the gym uh, to the bedroom. <laughs> 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 uh, Maybe I spent too much time with Fireball. I don't really take a lot of vacations, to be honest with you. Yeah. Oh. It's been oh, a while since I've been on one myself. But I play in a band, so like when we go to shows on the road, that's kind of like a mini vacation. It's been a while for me, too. Myself. Last time, oh, damn it! No, oh. <laughs> last, last time I went on vacation, my shirt got all stained. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> fuck! Son of a bitch! You used to fuck things up just like you always do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man. man, aren't they coming back? No, that's um. What's the other band that sounds just like Stained? I don't know. That everyone loves. I think it was Tide. I think Tide took Stained out. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tough on Stains, man. Little smear campaign. <laughs> Creed. I'm thinking of Creed. Yeah. Isn't Creed going back on tour? I don't know if they are. They did the, do the Super Bowl commercial. Oh for, yeah. For Paramount Plus. God, what a fucking commercial. That was a wild <laughs> yeah. commercial. I love that one. Was it good? Yeah. yeah. We'll have to show it to you off the air. I could pull it up right now. We listen to it on hey. the air. Hey, man of the box. Oh, oh that's Allison Chase. Can you pull that up? Can you pull that up? It's just a Paramount Plus Super Bowl ad. You'll see it. Hell yeah. Yeah. You'll know the one. You know, like, copyright music and stuff like that, uh, Creed is actually one of the only ones I've seen do a takedown of somebody on Twitch. Really? Yeah. As my, the guy I watch is like, they should be lucky somebody's listened to them yeah. this year. Can you take me higher? How do we not get a copy? Are you, are you watching it live right now? I think he'll throw it in his headset so it don't come through on the That's recording. <laughs> oh, y'all just waiting on me? <laughs> yeah, I, thought, I, thought, I didn't know you were... I thought we were going to at least play it for the audience, but... Oh, yeah, I don't know if we can do that. Now, how do we not get a copyright last week? I don't think Spotify gives a fuck. Oh. Is this the right one? I think this is the last year. I'm seeing a lot of Transformers uh, yeah, here. Uh, I think... That's it, the one with Hey Arnold in it. On Paramount Mountain. This is a two minute commercial? Yeah, it was epic. God almighty. They gonna get their millions worth of whatever it is nowadays for Super Bowl ad. They're gonna get a couple extra million off of this, I think. What about a football shaped head? Got some calls, sir. Smart thinking. No, that's dumb thinking. He's not throwing Arnold. Throw him. Who the hell is voice acting Knuckles? You can't throw a child at a wall. Animal, shut your face! I'd assume it's who was doing it for the new cartoon series. Was that Nate Bar- Bargatsky? Bar- how the hell you say his name? Oh, I can look at the video. Wait, why is Creed there? <laughs> I don't know. 
before the seventh inning stretch. Oh, Patrick Stewart. Rick and Saul. <laughs> this is so dumb, dude. <laughs> oh my god. He just me So close. How are we gonna get up there? Now if there were only someone made of pink skin. Bingo. Oh dear. <laughs> Damn. Poor old Peppa Pig. Peppa, Damn. Peppa, Peppa Pig. With her I'm sideways Peppa Pig. ass face. <laughs> I'm just disappointed Patrick Stewart didn't say Rick and Soul. Like he always said on Star Trek. How much they got paid for that shit, man? I don't know, dude. Enough. And, yeah. Enough. <laughs> Fucking Patrick Stewart just breaks out in the old school, like, leatherhead football uniforms. Right. I just threw. So Dante, it's tax season, right? Uh, you yeah. got to file taxes for all this comedian work you've been doing. Oh. Um. Actually, I've already I've, the the show that I'm doing Saturday. Yeah. The uh, Shamrock Block Party in uh, in Lancaster on Main Street. Yeah. I don't want to self promote, but uh, I've already filled out my I nines for it. Oh shit! Yeah, nice. Oh shit! Signed the contract yesterday. Filled out the I nine. Oh shit! Yes, yeah, sir. Ski. The rest of them, um, isn't that weird? It is feel weird. It's weird because yeah. they were asking me like grown up questions about comedy, and I was like, hey, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I'm gonna talk about my dick and balls, right? <laughs> Dude, the last show we played this past Saturday, um, two Saturdays ago, when I walked into the venue, the guy was just like, "Oh, are you who I'm gonna settle up with at the end of the night?" I didn't know what the fuck that meant, so I'm like, is this guy trying to fight me in the parking lot right now? We'll settle this shit later. Yeah, yeah. Bitch. But I had to fill out like a 1099 form for us oh, to shit. get paid for the show. Damn. Which is, I guess, standard, but yeah. I haven't been to that level yet. It's always yeah. just been cash. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of shows, you guys did Black Balls Live recently. Yeah. Did you do that? That did not yeah. go well. <laughs> I thought it went well. From, it went well from on the internet. Watching outside, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It went well, 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 well you were there. Girl there, yeah, yeah. I think it, people were laughing. It was just literally, bro. It I watched them off guard. And that's yeah. what got them laughing. I watched your clip back, my clip back. I need to airdrop your clip. Uh, your Ooh. clip back, my clip back, and that back. It was just one table of people. That that table, like right when you get to the. Uh, where people are sitting the very first table yeah. that lady was so fucking loud <laughs> you literally just can't hear anything over her bro oh what was she doing just talking to who the, the guy I, there was a guy <laughs> and girl at the table and she was just so loud bro like she's yeah. all you hear yeah at least in the clips I don't know and hopefully people kind of was was hearing it that night but the clips like there's it's hard to, it was hard to use hard to find anything to use we need to find a good local or might just have to be the ones to start a good local open mic. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how that works. Like but, a weekly deal, maybe. But just comedy. I was talking to the guy at the tap room yesterday, and he was wanting to try to do something like that. And I told him, let's it let me know. And I said, I got a list of comedians I could bring, and we'll see. So we're going to try to get that going at the LA tap room. So yeah. we'll let you know. Hell yeah. I felt like we should have like a no phone code. I don't. I don't mind that. Like, like, people can't be on their phones? No, no, no. Just, or no filming. Oh, oh, just to open, just come for funsies. Yeah. Funsy ones. Like, like a, don't even have someone else film your set for you. Like, make it something that's just, it's just no pressure. The, like, just crowd. get out there, practice. Yeah. yeah. If there's a crowd, there's a crowd. If not, there's not. One of the reasons I like getting my set recorded, though, is just so I can go back and watch it and, like, really gauge the audience I feel like I get a better I, I'm not good at gauging an audience while I'm up there I'm better yeah. afterward but but hey I mean you know, yeah man. Huh. how do you think That's they did in the know. 80s and 90s they didn't have people on their smartphones back That's back true. when I was growing up back, back in my day old big camp quarters I might we, we need to we should there's got a big resurface of videos lately I've been seeing of like old comedy clips yeah yeah where they're just saying some ruthless shit yeah, like yeah. back in the 80s and 90s and it's like you just kind of forget about that yeah. because of how just 
everything's wrapped in bubble wrap these days. Oh, yeah. You see those old clips, and you're like, God damn, maybe that was <laughs> kind of fucked up. Yeah. But still funny. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Funny, 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 funny. Like some crazy shit comes out of those clubs, and they don't have any recordings, so you don't know what you're missing on some of those shows. Right. Did you guys see the Nick Fortune shit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You showed me that shit. I wanted to. I seen that shit. Burn. Nick, uh, did you see any of it? I didn't see any Nick Swartz and stuff. So Nick did a, he was, he's on tour right now. Uh-huh. He, he was doing, <laughs> was. He, he was doing a show in uh, Denver, Colorado. Um, that's where we started the show, out in Denver, Colorado. Yeah. Right. And uh, I made the first one, but I did not make the second show. Because uh, I brought out, I met a girl there that brought about quite a big change. Yeah. Um, Brought him out quite a big chain. <laughs> Keep going, dude. I don't know the reference, but it's, it's funny. Odie in Denver. <laughs> and I just can't remember her name. <laughs> you don't know that song? I do not know oh, that man. song. Odie in Denver, Hank Williams Jr. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, anyways, he started the tour in uh, Denver, and um, I don't even know if he started it. He was on tour in Denver and was doing a show, and he he says he got so drunk and the altitude, and uh, he was taking edibles i think oh shit so he got just so sloppy he couldn't tell his jokes oh damn and uh people were like upset but a really cool thing happened the so the guy who owns the venue come out and cut cut his mic off turn the spotlight off and then come out was like telling the crowd hey we're gonna refund you sorry about that and then another i think another club in denver reached out to Nick about doing a show there and it sold out instantly. People oh, in Denver were like supporting Nick. So that's really cool. Yeah, that was cool. Um, but it was, the video was very odd. But then Nick put out a statement was just like, he's like, it should happen. Sorry guys. I feel yeah. bad for those yeah. over there. Think about the first club owner though that had to refund yeah. all those tickets and then he sees like a couple days later yeah. this other club sells out. sell the fuck out. Like, you motherfucker. You son of a bitch. You motherfucker. And I'm sure the show went great for the whole oh, yeah. so. it But Nick said that he was like, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, shit that guy's mad as shit. Yeah, like, dude. Fuck Nick Swartz. There's one person in the story that's just like, God damn, man. Son of a bitch. Yeah. I wouldn't have given him the full refund. Well, look, you saw his opener. All right? yeah. He True. did walk out of the yeah. yeah, those guys got to get paid. If I went to, sh- the, to see Adam Sandler live and he just came out on stage <laughs> drunk as shit, I would still be like, yeah. Have you ever been yeah. too fucked up to perform? I haven't been too fucked up to perform, but the first time, the first special I recorded, uh-huh. uh, it was on my birthday, and I got fucked up during the special. Oh right? shit! And uh, so by the end of the special, I it was I had a hard time finishing it. <laughs> I I had a bottle. Did you did you have you seen the first special? Yeah, I don't remember it, but I've seen it. Great. Um, I, I had a bottle of Terramana tequila on stage and and it was just for a bit that I was going to do I was yeah. like yeah me and my girl we broke up and I'm not mad about breaking up with her I'm mad at the reason why we broke up we broke up because she said I was an alcoholic and needed help which I don't understand at all give me one second and then I would just take a big gulp from the, the tequila bottle yeah gulp down you, know. you should have gimmicked it <laughs> I really should have well when I did it the place went fucking nuts. Oh shit! <laughs> and it was my first time doing a like something. He's drinking on stage. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> it, it, it was my first time doing a special, so I was like, anytime I feel like there was kind of a lull, I would just be like, ah, oh, and, and big reaction, big reaction. I finished the fucking bottle. You got gaslighted into blacking out. I did. And then, here, and then here's what here's what my dumbass goes. I know I had another bottle because it, it was a birthday party. It was like yeah. a film special and I just fucking party. And I had another bottle in the concession area and I was like, uh, I'll give somebody a kiss on the mouth right now if they bring me another bottle. And then my fucking cousin ran and got the bottle. <laughs> he brought it up on stage and I was like, God damn it. All right. Roll time. We bro. kiss it now. So, yeah, yeah, right. And then and then my cousin was like, no, we're family. We can't, we can't kiss. I was like, all right, cool, cool. And then Fireball jumps up on stage. So, Fireball kisses me on stage in front of my family and friends and guy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, yeah. Been there with Fireball. So, yeah. Have we all been? You didn't get kissed. You got a lap dance by Fireball. Yeah. <laughs> No, you didn't get kissed. You just got yeah, a fucking... I was going to say we've all been kissed. You got an awkward boner. <laughs> <laughs> so then after he kissed me, I was like, I'm going to drink some more tequila. And uh, yeah, I got fucked up. I couldn't... They had to... Up. 
the way that this special they don't pump your stomach no <laughs> this is the behind the scenes of the special uh, uh, so the camera died i went so long the camera fucking oh, died. No. <laughs> they had to come up with a birthday cake and sing happy birthday and got me off stage and then uh, i'm funny right yeah, i did yeah. you fucking good job you fucker and then i went outside and threw my guts up for oh like shit 20 minutes. Tequila and cake up it does some rank shit oh dude yeah. i came back in it was completely it's fine though <laughs> it was like back to normal like give just me a fucking beer and stumbling guys i just made kalua where am i up let's redo it come on home oh, now uh, and then chase got in a fight with a crackhead Hell yeah. It was at just, your it, show? Yes, it was an entire <laughs> event. Where was this? The Rich Hill Community Center. Oh, damn, who invited the crackhead? He came with a, a family member of ours. Like, he was, the dude was like, gonna kill himself or something. Oh, shit. So my uncle was like, just release, <laughs> release the crackhead. He's so, gonna kill himself or something? Yeah. So my uncle was just like, hey, come to a comedy show instead. That'll stop you from killing yourself. And then he got in a fist fight. Oh, <laughs> shit. So, <laughs> he said, I should have just fucking killed him. Uh, so Chase said, hold my beer, I'll do it for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So him and Chase get into a fight, and we get them separated. Chase, this dude literally has, our, my uncle's already like left. Dude's gone. Chase is still trying to go outside to fight. Nobody's oh, outside. No. Chase was fucked up, too. <laughs> no. My dad hip tosses uh, Chase. Oh, oh it's the same night. Yes. Gotcha. The, the best fucking thing I've ever seen. My dad was like, oh. Chase goes over. <laughs> Chase hits the ground and goes, all right, I'm good. I'm, 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 I'm so good now. And, uh, that's why that's where I got the name of my second special white trash Jesus from because I was like this is the most white trash shit yeah. ever sounds like it <laughs> so hell yeah happy yeah, birthday dude. glory be that's it baby I'm gonna tell you brother and then we all went to church the next morning sat side by side hand in hand brother did yeah, you go to church the next morning God, no I couldn't fucking <laughs> I woke up the next morning and everything hurt <laughs> damn he's fall asleep at the altar I'm He's praying heavy heaven. this morning. I got some pitting to do. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, preacher. I ain't gonna leave out no details now. <laughs> and then the preacher's like, "You could probably leave out a couple details." <laughs> this is, this is my daughter you're talking about. <laughs> you don't have to speak directly into the mic. This isn't your stand up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I didn't get to finish last night. I'm gonna finish it here, preacher. <laughs> Black balls. Black balls. <laughs> All right, so my girl, my, my sister, she's fat. <laughs> BGM. That's, that's what I was talking about. They're like, you already, you already said that. Really? Your sister said <laughs> oh, up you at church. You, that don't, hey. you don't remember the BGM? When my sister was little, I was like, uh, my sister and her friends are all, they were all fat kids. So I called them the BGM. Oh, shit. I've only used that around you six times. Yeah. You did it the other night. Open my <laughs> Yes. Yeah, whatever. All right. <laughs> It is. Well, we couldn't hear her without one bitch at the yeah. table. <laughs> You're right. What's the BGM stand for? Big Girl Mafia. I, so I remember that. See? I remember yeah. BGM and I let you say it all together. You yeah. know the pizza? They're like, the this pizza. Yeah. Yeah. pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Four girls. This will hold yeah. us over. One guy. <laughs> yeah. Two siblings. This should hold us. What could go wrong? This should hold us over to, to second lunch. Like, what? What is second lunch? Whatever. Did they actually say that or is that just part of the joke? The world may never know. Shit, yeah, man. What if they were not even fat kids? What if you don't even have a sister? Get in the Discord. <laughs> we're taking bets, baby. Over or under sister? I'm going to say over. Over one sister. Or over half a sister. However bets work. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, who's any more than Um... Did you guys see John Cena at the Oscars? Can we talk about that for a second? I didn't see it, but I've I saw it. the pictures. Yeah, I've seen the pictures. John yeah, Cena come out butt ass booty naked. Yeah, why do you do that? It's just uh, Ricky Snicky, man. No. So there's two takes. All right. There's two takes, son. Now I'm going to tell you the first take. All right. First take. By the way, that envelope was huge. Yeah. I had to cover up that package. <laughs> Couldn't see me. The first take is that... The envelope was the package. See? Well, no. It's complicated. The first take is that it was a really funny bit. Some people said it was a a play on the you can't see me thing. Yeah. Uh, And then some people, your conspiracy theorist, said that it was a part of the Hollywood humiliation ritual that he was having to go through. Oh. To become an elite Hollywood actor. Right. Like a black actor wearing a dress in a movie. 15 years too late. And he's in Ricky Stanicki right now, in which he wears a... Skirt and a bra. So that whole movie looks silly. 
So here's it, it's yeah. silly. It's really fun. Andrew. So, so Andrew, John Cena's getting blackmailed. Is that's what is that's it. what some people are saying. Yeah, I just think it was <laughs> like, hey, here's a funny fucking bit, dude. The right. bit is hilarious. Did you you send it in the the Facebook group chat? Um, I think Alex may have said that. Alex, he, he so he's doing all the parody songs. He does parody songs. He's like, yeah, I do uh, jerk off songs. He parodies every song and makes it about jerking off. Right. Well, wasn't he also promoting this on OnlyFans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fans. yeah. So like, it was like very like clickbaity titles. Yeah. Like, once we take all six inches to the mouth, right. he's eating yeah. a hot dog. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 So some people are like, oh, this is humiliation. And some people are like, no, it's just a funny. I, like, from what I've seen of John Cena, though, he has a very like juvenile sense of humor. And there's nothing wrong with that. He's just, you know, like, it's that's his sense of humor. Right. So I don't think that he would have a problem with doing those things. You know, I don't think it's Where like. Where do you think he's taken? GNC supplements, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Shit ton of whey protein. I just pulled up the photo. He is fucking shredded for 46 years old. Yeah. And also massive. Hey. So at least testosterone. Maybe There's a little bit a of DECA. Maybe some D-ball. Who's even a joke about that in the movie? You think he's D-balling? I think he's 100% natural. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> just like all my other favorite wrestlers. Oh, no, I can't see him. Dude, you know what <laughs> shit. Mikey for a second wanted to put the laptop so you could see. Oh, here. Oh, I see. <laughs> no. I got it. Um, it's yeah. the sixth time you made that joke. Right? <laughs> hey, it's not like you almost said it right. He's getting there. Hey, he's, he's, he's been practicing. He's been going to speech therapy three days a week. I drink all my meat. I hear you. <laughs> I drank all of Dante's mead last time. You want some more? Has John Cena been in any good movies? I like Ricky Stenicki a lot. It depends on I still haven't seen it yet. What do you it does look great. Oh, you should. It's on Amazon. It's yeah. fucking hilarious. It's got Andrew Santino in it. Um, Zach Efron. Um, fuck, there's a, I can't remember the other guy's name. He's really funny. He's an older guy, skinny fellow. Yeah. But he's he's in, he's really good. Steve Buscemi. He had that one cameo position in that one movie where he's like a drug dealer. He's like, I got everything you need, crack, heroin, he even like listed Viagra and shit like that. John Cena? Yeah. I guess oh, like a, a cameo or a smaller role. I, I remember, did you guys ever watch The Marine when that came out? I didn't ever see those, no. Oh, they were cheesy. <laughs> I don't know, Miz, oh, the guy talked about being such a movie star in The Marine. I like the first Marine. They had a decent budget as far as effects go. Yeah. Like, like some of the scenes were very well shot, and well, I was also young as fuck. Was that so. WWE films on that, or it might have been because there were some really cheesy moments. Yeah. It's it like was, it'd go it from was, like really yeah. serious, like we got your wife or whatever, we're gonna fucking kill her, and then the head honcho man gets a phone call, and it's someone trying to switch him to Verizon from AT and T. It's just like just stupid shit it's from the mind of Vince McMahon, baby. Um. He was in Vacation Friends. Those I like those movies. Steve yeah. Buscemi is in the second of Vacation Friends. Um, Fast and Furious. Yeah, it was WWE films. Um, they actually did a couple horror movies that were not bad. They did the Seed of Evil Seed stuff Evil. with Kane, but they also did a movie called Oculus. Oh, yeah. About the mirror and shit. They had a movie about amateur wrestling that I thought was pretty good. I can't remember what it's called now either. I think Cena was in it. Um, and then Cena, he was in a uh, cock blockers with uh, Leslie Mann. That's a funny fucking that movie. It's a Judd Apatow film. It's a funny movie. I want to see the uh, the movie about the uh, the brothers. The Von Eric movie. Oh was it, yeah, uh, Iron Claw. Iron Claw yeah. yeah, I heard that was sad. Yeah, dude. which I knew the backstory, so I knew it'd be sad as hell. Yeah, right, but I don't know anything about it. I don't know shit. About I remember seeing a buddy on Facebook. He's like, I'm gonna make my wife watch. The uh, Dark Side of the Ring for Devon Eriks. Then we're going to watch Iron Claw. I'm just going to ruin her whole weekend. <laughs> or no, you should make her You should have made her watch the movie first so she really falls in love. Yeah. And then, Which I guess he... Which not knowing that yeah. anything, yeah. I know Zac Efron got fucking yoked for that movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was that effects on his face or... I don't know. Cause is, he, he is he going down that Hollywood... Right fucking, out of Marvel jawline, man. Yeah. It didn't look real. He's pretty, uh, he's pretty yoked in general. Like, he stays pretty He's gone a long way from High School Musical. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Troy! I remember he did that one uh, Baywatch movie with The Rock and uh, yeah. one of the Paul brothers cameoed in it. And oh, was that any good? It wasn't bad. It was yeah. better than what I expected for a Baywatch movie. I feel like, well, I always tell people movies like that, like, people go into them just with too much, like, 
you want to see too much like it's, yeah. it's made to just be a, like a enjoyable funny film yep. yeah just laugh at like people when people make comment like kevin hart's got a movie called um what's it called lifted or something like that uh, on the netflix. netflix movie yeah oh man it's got mark Wahlberg. no well, oh. that me time that was me time that, that was, was funny too that was hilarious but, but the thing is people are <laughs> like fucking the, tortoise they're shit. like it's a, it's a thin plot and like the story's unrealistic it's like bro it's a fucking comedy yeah, and we just, got the budget for it so get fucked yeah dude. it's just made to be funny dude. <laughs> yeah. i think there needs to be like rotten tomatoes needs uh to hire people who are just in charge of doing comedy films right is the movie funny it's a fucking comedy also, think people don't realize how many like hands they have in different pots those guys yeah. like Mark Wahlberg having a stroke Mark Wahlberg and Kevin Hart like they do so much shit they're not just actors like just between hands. other business ventures and non-profits and fucking yeah. being an actual person on the side a as well tequila brand <laughs> like alright we got this script it's kind of funny let's knock this out here's your movie you're welcome and then too so I think I can't remember who it was it was a uh, it's a director that works with Adam Sandler a lot. I can't remember if it's Dennis Dugan or uh, if it's somebody else, but he said that when he go, when he goes into a comedy film, uh, he he does the ticket method, is what he called it, or something like that, where every time he laughs or every time he thinks something's funny, he considers that fifty cent, and then if that adds up to how much he paid for the movie. That he says, okay, then that movie passed the test. Okay. And that's a pretty cool, like, interesting yeah. concept. It's harder to do for something that's streaming, yeah. but it's a pretty interesting concept if you go watch a movie and you're like, okay, that was funny. I'll give him. Streaming, he can look how many times he laughed in a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, is this streaming service worth it? Uh-oh. It's after he watched Uh-oh. true crime documentaries for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The deagles are going bat she's in. Hey. Who's that pulling up? Come on. Stop it, right? No, Mikey. I'm telling you, fucking, the universe is in jeopardy. I'm sucking 67 dick. Don't give a fuck. She's like, what are y'all talking about? That's like the first time we've talked about saving the world sucking dick. Oh, yeah. Is it not? It's like my dream. Hold on. What was it? Oh, was the episode you were on or no? It was the round table. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, the round table. We talked about the aliens. aliens came. What would you do? Y'all were all being super oh, serious. First round table, like back before Halloween. It was like, well, I would try to get bored with the leader, and I would try to like call these guys, and I was like, I just sucked their dick until they let me go. Either that, or they can yeah. fucking rub with their tail stuck. Yeah, <laughs> they're fucking crazy. There was something else we did too. We asked you if you knew what something was. You're like, oh, I know what that is. You're obviously, you're just sucking two dicks. The Asian just, thing? Yeah, what was that? Uh, it was that place that I actually ended up did knowing what it was. It's like a comic <laughs> store or something. Huh. Shit. They had a dead manifest. Manifest, yeah. Yep. yeah. You walk in, it's just 12 Korean guys in a circle. <laughs> That's what it was. God, I miss. We need more of those moments on the podcast. Yeah, yeah I remember that you were talking about not knowing manifest, and like the next day you posted something about yeah, manifest. at manifest. I did, I, I was like, what the fuck, dude? Yes. Oh, man. Oh, that place. The yes. place with all the disc and tapes. <laughs> That's how I did it. That's how much I didn't know what it was, though. Yeah. Like, I didn't know I'd been there. Yeah. That was before a New Japan show I just so happened. Are we recording it? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta watch this guy. <laughs> he tries to sneak it on you and hope he tastes like a guy. Yeah. Yeah. I only stopped it to cancel out the dogs barking. He wants you to the dog, dog whining. Whine. He wants you to say something racist or something. He no. Wants to catch it. That's gonna be the opening of the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think the they should, should be allowed to vote. The sussy and he's like, work. got it. <laughs> God is I That's exactly what we needed right there. They turned me into Will from Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that fucking lady. Yeah. Dude. Man. I got, She's so mad all the time. <laughs> I got a question for you guys. Wick, you can right. answer one at a time, or y'all can just both talk over each other. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Fuck the audience. Do you do you guys think in a one on one fist fight, do you think you could beat up that crazy uh, airplane lady who's like, that motherfucker's not real? For certain. All right, and tell me how, Mikey, would you go about beating this lady? Go. <laughs> <laughs> am I on the plane? Oh, yeah, you're on the Why plane. Why am I beating this lady? Right. I wouldn't beat her just for yelling. She'd have to hit me first. Well, okay, sure. Right. On, the, on the podcast. But if, I were, if I were to just happen to just kind of... Let's say you're having a bad day. She yeah. burnt your food. And she's a woman. Yeah. <laughs> you're having a bad day and she's a woman. Go. Let's just say it's 1920. <laughs> she, said, she said you ain't fucking real. 
Oh Ooh. man! Oh, you're right. She's got that hot Cheeto breath. And she's I've always like, wanted to just like elbow check someone across the fucking jawline. Mm-hmm. Like that's always been a fantasy of mine. That motherfucker just a nuts. fucking ah, just really follow yeah. through, like twist the whole body with it. Yeah, that's that's, that's how, how we, I'd do it. That's how we beat them. If she was a national security issue, yeah. which she technically was, technically was, so, technically was. You're protecting your country, I, dude. I'm a goddamn patriot. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> You can't see it, guys, but we're saluting Mike. <laughs> and David, how would you beat this bitch's ass? Oh man, I mean, she's, she's, she's kind of cute. So I might, I might wrestle her. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, help her wrestle, back up. Wrestle around yeah. down to the ground a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Let's go put some ice on that, sweetheart. Yeah. Not not smack her around unless she's into that. But she might. Be. She asked for it. Smack her on the table right there. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I knew a girl. And then, uh, so that's how we would do it. That was a crazy whole thing with her and all that, you know. Everybody trying to say that it wasn't her in the apology video. And shit. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. she disappeared. Yeah, they offed her ass and replaced <laughs> her with a fake from the CIA. A friend, Ooh, a friend of mine faked a bunch of people out on TikTok and said he was the guy that she saw and had people believing it. Really? Yeah, like Alex Jones shared a clip of it and everything. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you probably remember him, Tyler oh, Hall, the tattoo artist guy. That, that, rapping yeah, and stuff. yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. He did a whole TikTok video saying it was him. And uh, yeah, it was him. And he tried to say, you know, because she said it was a Freemason or whatever. He added that context. And yeah, he had Dude. people believing it was really him. I've gotten banned, or I've gotten like uh, temporary bans from TikTok. Oh, wow. For talking shit to Freemasons. <laughs> Dude, speaking of the airplane thing, I know we kind of moved past a little bit. Sorry. I was trying to pull this article up. Did you guys hear about the uh, the the Boeing whis- whistleblower that got found dead in South Carolina? I saw no. something about that. Yeah, I didn't know exactly the context before they found his da- him dead. So, John Barnett, a whistleblower who worked at Boeing for nearly three decades, was tragically found dead in his truck at a hotel in Charleston, South Carolina. He was involved in a whistleblower uh, retaliation lawsuit revealed, or let, sorry, related to his Air 21 case, which provides protection for um, aviation industry whistleblowers. His lawyer, Brian Knowles, revealed that Barnett was scheduled for a deposition but was discovered deceased from an alleged gunshot, gunshot wound. Uh, he had raised concern about Boeing's practices, particularly at the Charleston plant where he was transferred uh, where he, he was transferred to in 2010. He spoke out against the pressure to overlook defects and bypass procedures in aircraft production. Uh, Barnett's passing is a significant loss, especially as he had been actively discussing Boeing's production issues with reporters prior to his death. Wow. Yeah. So much for protection. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whistleblower, huh? Yeah. Damn. Now so, I just want to know what shortcuts they're taking. Yeah. That's on the, that assembly line, yeah, you know? That's like, the thing, yeah. So I saw that the other day and I was like, how? I haven't seen a lot of people talk about What if about it's something it? completely useless? Like, it doesn't say what section he works at in Boeing. Yeah. Oh, He's yeah. the guy responsible and oversees the, the overhead yeah. compartments. Yeah. <laughs> He's no, just that, like, like the these tunnel. aren't up to code. They're like, dude. We're working with fucking jet fuel, jet engine yeah. engineers, all right? And that's why he killed himself. Because <laughs> no one took his job serious. Yeah. Oh, he went shit. to college for that shit. He did yeah, his dude. life to it. Fuck you guys at Boeing. <laughs> Let the man talk. <laughs> what if he was just a major dick, though? Yeah, that's what I'm... You, you yeah. never know, man. No. You don't know. Either way, that is kind of sus. No, it's, it's weird. kind of sus. It's it weird. also yeah. kind of sus. Yeah. Because he could have been a jet that. engine engineer. He goes to the whole thing, Mechanic. speaking out against government officials, yeah. big powerful corporation people, and suddenly freedom he of speech. suicide. Yeah, what if we're tar- on well, target list now for talking about it? Did it say suicide? It. it sounds like he got fucking well, murdered. It self-inflicted. Yeah, self-inflicted. Oh, yeah. I missed that part. Yeah. I think I stuttered over it a little bit. So. <laughs> uh, reading's hard. It can be. Um... <laughs> I just thought I was weird because, you know, one of y'all had mentioned, like, about that girl, like, just, they offed her, and I was like, oh, shit, it just reminded me of that. Um, that's fucking crazy shit, though, dude. That's what happens, yeah. Man. Yeah, conspiracies are fun. If only there was a whole podcast about it. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Even on this network, that'd be kind of cool. That would dude, be kind of cool. That, that's your podcast. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Conspiracy, cryptid, cool. COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky <laughs> shit. Yeah. What's the spookiest thing that you guys have ever encountered or mm. lived through or experienced? I had to work a show with Slut Life Brand one time. That sounds fun. You would Spooky. think. You would think. Those girls are nice. You would think. <laughs> you would think. Um, no, that was just a little joke. 
Oh, I don't want him to get mad. Oh, oh, I know what I'm talking about. The spookiest everywhere. Yeah, the spookiest thing. Um, I don't know. You got something? Yeah, I mean, I've been in houses that are haunted or had weird shit happen several times throughout my life. The one I'm in now has had some weird things over the years. Mm. But what a crazy thing this happened to me as a kid at my grandparents' house uh, where my mom grew up and she told me stories of shit that happened there. Um, I opened the second story of my uncle's old bedroom. He had some cool toys from when he, he was a child still in there. And he's only like 18 years older than me, so he wasn't far removed from living there. Yeah. And they were looking at toys upstairs by myself. Everybody else was downstairs in the house. And I felt and heard breathing right on the back of my neck. Like somebody heavy breathing like they've been jogging. Mm. To turn around and expect somebody trying to mess with me and there's nobody else in the room. Not was a ghost of fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I took off running down those damn steps. I didn't know that there was so many stairs in here, huh? <laughs> and one of the more recent things, uh, I was walking in my driveway. And you know, like when you walk past somebody in public, you might be looking at your phone or something and you sense like their aura. Oh. Like you don't see them, but you feel them. Feel them, yeah, yeah. I felt that get closer to me. And then, like, I walked through whatever it was. Oh. So I was like, hey, sorry about that. You know, it's, yeah. <laughs> that's just the only thing I think. Hey, sorry about that. Just kept walking. Didn't mean to. But Excuse I was literally me. in a long driveway. I live, like, it's about a half mile back or a quarter mile, something like that, oh. of a long gravel driveway. So there's nobody was there with me. It's broad daylight. Yeah. Now, what do you mean when you say you pass through someone's aura? What does that feel oh, like, like a, exactly? I don't know. It's kind of like you feel that feeling, and then you just feel like you went through it instead of just kind of get close to somebody. You feel like somebody reaches out toward your head, and you got your eyes closed. You still feel the hand. Yeah, yeah. I right. felt like that weird presence you feel, the right. energy, but... I felt it in front of me and then through me. I think right. I know kind of what you're talking about. Like yeah. a chill through you or something. Yeah. yeah, it didn't really feel like some weird like craziness. It just, whatever it was, it was in front of me and I felt it behind me and kind of passed through. It was like, Ooh. like you almost expected to feel like it's about to run into somebody. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, you got some of your intestines here stuck on my belt. Uh, that's just swamp gas, man. It might have been. That's just swamp gas. Yeah. Yeah. More like swamp, swamp bass. Bass. or something. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, the, uh, last week at my house, I was home alone. Well, it's one or two. Right before, we, <laughs> right before we recorded, lost in New York. Yeah. Right before Anything we, after that sucked. Yeah. Right before we recorded, and I heard something like knock on my back door. Uh-oh. Continue. No, no, no. You want to address no, that. We'll no, you want to we'll address come back that. To that. I, said, I just heard something knock on my door, but there was nobody there. It was really creepy to me. Ooh, but I live in an old house. It could have just been like a, it could have just been like a sound, like a yeah. floor settling or something. Uh, well, yeah, but floors don't settle as loud as a knock on the can door. You just, like, let, I've been trying. I'm to trying just, to back. I'm trying to validate your story. Yeah, dude. I don't want it validated. I just well, want to think the knock was the. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. wanted to be like, oh. Oh, there's nothing going on at home. Well, you never know, man. You might want to go home and see the handprint on the glass. Get you now. some cameras <laughs> set up in the backyard. You might have a little method infestation. Beat their fucking ass. <laughs> might be more hornets. God, God, damn damn it was. Was lost, man. Dude, when I tell you I was high as fuck standing <laughs> right under <laughs> Didn't they fly over you to get his ass? Yeah, because he yeah. ran. Oh shit. That's not true. He's lying. They did not fly over him to get to me. He lied about that. <laughs> they grabbed your shoulder and pushed you. Oh, I lied about it. Just like you have to keep candy at your house. For my to keep candy at my house for Mikey. Yeah. yeah, okay. That's why the candy's <laughs> it's always <laughs> different candy and different. No, it's not. <laughs> That's why I have so much candy at my house. Yeah. Because he I'm such a, a candy fan. He theme. has a secret stash. Don't let him lie. <laughs> The point okay. is, I walked into the building. He was not even in the building. They, they got no. me in the building, and I ran out of the building. No, he was shit. like, they flew right past me. They didn't even fucking touch me. And I was like, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they were staying and he was saying, fuck you, fuck you. Looked at my feet. Was that the same fuck day the branch was hanging in the fucking street? <laughs> yeah. We're just watching cars come on and smack the fuck Dude, out of me. We're yeah. drinking beer. I think there was like a story. <laughs> <laughs> We're just drinking really. Yeah. Here, oh, here goes, here goes yeah. the fast one. It's gonna get it. It's gonna. There'd be a fucking. It was like a tree that's right next to the road, and then I think there was some wind or some lightning the night before, and so yeah. a branch was like hanging off for dear life. Oh shit, yeah. And so like certain cars would go right under it, but then eventually like a box truck or like a jacked up truck would come through and just smack oh, the no, absolute no. shit <laughs> out of this branch. But it was still hanging on, man. Wow. And we're just in the driveway, like. <laughs> It just drinking beer, watching this shit. You had to have been there. Yeah, you just had to have been there. 
I saw a video phenomenal. similar like that online where people were sitting out and had a recording set up and it's like a, a bumper or something got messed up on the road yeah, and yeah. cars just flying through there like going airborne and oh, straight to the bottom yeah, of the car and shit damn that's the city swallow too yeah well, I had they had the police officers had to come by and uh cut that thing down to cut that yeah. bridge down because I yeah. wasn't fucking doing it after the, the, the well, I, that's what I was trying to do. Oh, that's why oh, we yeah, went to the shed. Right I was trying to be a good citizen. That. And I was like, I'm going to go get like a, I got an axe back here. And I go back there and get fucking stung to death. <laughs> I was like, fuck that. That's someone else's job. At least and you didn't go back for your glasses. My girl. Huh? <laughs> oh. You ever seen that movie? My girl? No, he went back for the ring. That's what it was. In my girl? The Macaulay Culkin movie where he got killed by the bees. I've never seen it. His oh, glasses. Yeah, the glasses is because he, he didn't have his glasses on at a funeral. He went back for her ring. I thought it was a Velma reference. No. It's also that, too. Yeah. It's That's got Dan Aykroyd in it. Dan Aykroyd's like a mortician. Oh, what? And it's his daughter. And she's friends with Macaulay Culkin. Oh. And they're like, got a cute little childhood, little love interest. You know, little kids with a crush. Oh. They play together and stuff. And, it's like uh, White Norbit. <laughs> but uh yeah she like it was a mood ring she had left it he'd given her or something and they, they lost in the woods and he went back to where it was and somebody knocked a bee hive down so the bee stung him to death while he's getting a ring for the little girl oh my god yeah. god damn was he like allergic or was yeah he was allergic uh, yeah he also got stung like the a, glasses come in though because his funeral he's laid up in a casket without his glasses on and she's screaming his glasses he can't see without his glasses Aww. Does yeah. she go back and get him and then she gets stung? No. <laughs> they just have glasses on for the funeral. That's the second movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's kind of like Romeo and Juliet. There was a My Girl 2. I don't remember that one, though. My Girl There two. was a My Girl 2? Yeah. It's fucked. He comes back from the dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's yeah. in college. She's Rob a Zombie presents. He's fucking Candyman now with all the bees. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Rob Zombie film. My Girl 2. <laughs> hey, what's up, you toots? <laughs> you toots? <laughs> you toots? <laughs> You remember me? I fucking died for your ass. No, Rob Zombie pussy isn't an instrument. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, pussy uh, liquor! Pussy liquor! <laughs> Dude, those fucking House House of a Thousand Corpse, all those movies, are just fucking insane, bro. Yeah, that newest one was yeah. pretty sick. I, I watched the first one and just felt unsettled. I was yeah. like, I gotta wait. I gotta do this one year to. What's time. crazy though is the first one is like traditional slasher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the second one, you almost feel like the killers are the victims that Ooh. are trying to survive. People come after them. Oh, and I gotta watch the second. Yeah, third. Devil's Rejects, and then third one's kind of the same. God, his wife was so hot. Yeah, I remember when I told my my cousin Logan, I was like, hey, we're gonna, let's watch these movies. These guys basically they get like they get drugged to this house and some fucked up shit happens so that's yeah. the movie and he was like why would their dumbasses get fucking like drugged to their like why would they even follow these people yeah and then uh, as soon as he said that Sherry Moon runs out of the woods and he's like okay okay right. let's go yeah, that's <laughs> it that's it and I was like I hope they follow these people yeah yeah that yeah, movie so, is so like the second up. one starts out with that compound gets raided oh so they're on the run from like the law and the laws kind of takes place as the bad guys in that movie Interesting. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. like Rambo. <laughs> what? What? What's that? Who's running over here at a very fast, fast rate? Is that Sylvester Stallone? Sylvester Stallone, what are you doing here? Hey, you know, I just, I just walked in the door. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Mr. Sylvester. He ran up the steps just like Rocky. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm always fast, but I'm not quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll go get it. <laughs> hey, who could that be? Is that Arnold Schwarzenegger? Arnold, what are you doing here? Oh, this I, fucking guy. I just here to record the podcast, and I brought my good friend, Owen Wilson. <laughs> wow. Would you look at the size of that deagle? <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge deal. Yeah, that's a big dog. <laughs> also, Pratini DeVito. Hey, yeah, fuck you, Batman. <laughs> Danny DeVito, can you do me a favor and say whores? <laughs> whores? <laughs> Dude, I just saw that uh, Oscars clip today yeah. where it was Arnold and Danny DeVito. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they're staring down, uh, who was it? Keaton. Michael Keaton. Yeah. But wasn't That's George Clooney Batman, Batman, Batman in the Arnold movie? I don't think they cared. I think they just looked for the first Batman <laughs> no. actor. I was like... Um, speaking of 
going back to the Super Bowl uh, commercials, they had a good Super Bowl commercial for was it State Farm? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, State Farm. It was they did the twins reuniting. They should just do a new movie, bro. Yeah, dude. Honestly, Arnold got a lot of hate the past few years though. For what? Well, he's kind of the, the whole "fuck your freedom" thing. Yeah, fuck your that freedom. Kinda, Fuck your freedom. Kind of upset a lot of people. Is that pretty good? Fuck your freedom. Yeah. <laughs> this gets worse and worse. Fuck your freedom. Hey, fuck your freedom. Hey, fuck your freedom, man. Hey, fuck your freedom. <laughs> this guy. Whoa. Oh, his fucking freedom is fucked. Uh, <laughs> I've been working on an Irish accent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's Saint ready for some shenanigans? St. Patrick's Day is this weekend, so there Saint you go. St. Patrick's Day. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't, cool. don't we have a show coming up? Yeah, we, so, uh... <laughs> Saturday, I got the Shamrock Block Party, which I'm emceeing. Hope to see you guys there. Hell yeah. Uh, and then Sunday, Mikey and I, as well as some friends of ours, are doing a uh, we're doing a little comedy show at the Bombay Lugoff. It's a L- bar in Allegedly. Lugoff. It's, uh, it's going to be starting at 8 o'clock. Where can they find the flyer for that? <laughs> it's out there. <laughs> By the time this airs. Maybe an event page on Facebook? It's out there. Nice. Bombay Bar, if you don't know where it's at, just fucking text us and ask us how to get there. It's a, it's a real bar. It's a real place. We will be there. This you, place exists. You will be safe. And we're going to have a fun weekend of laughter, love, and uh, probably a lot of beer drinking. Mm, I, I might be a little sober for this show, man. Well, you got a thing the next morning, right? Yeah, it's yeah. called work. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever that's about. It pays the bills, keeps the lights on, keeps the microphones running. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Who sponsors your podcast, my job? <laughs> That's it, my Pretty job. much, dude. Brought to you by Napa Auto Parts. <laughs> Speaking of sponsorships, what about WWE with the Prime sponsorship? Oh, yeah. Of course. We had fucking oh, bottles of course. Prime hydration Middle of the, the ring, ring man. Yeah, yeah that and was so stupid. I don't like it. A lot of people are like, like, they're tr- like UFC does it, boxing does it. I'm like, yeah, but like... It just looks dumb. And wrestling wrestling. usually does at the corners. Yeah, like if WCW gonna, back in the day was the corners and a WCW logo in the center. Yeah, I, it's I, almost I, shameful how much they're throwing these energy hydration drinks. Like, oh, they make a shit like C four. Such trash, though, man. And everyone, it's it's a little sad. Yeah. It sucks. There's nothing special about it. I like the one the I taste. had. It was like blue raspberry and it's a coconut. Yeah, it water. tastes good. Like, well, the thing about it's Prime, better than water, but the, the thing about Prime is that it's. It's healthier than like Gatorade and Powerade. Yeah, uh, that's the the big. It's key. not hard to do. Just take the sugar <laughs> and the fucking oh, yeah, corn yeah, yeah, syrup yeah. out Speaking of it. Speaking of, you guys see Gatorade does water. Yeah, they made a Gatorade water. It's just water with Gatorade branding. Yeah, yeah. and it's I like some minerals to help with the flavor. Two dollars and forty nine cents for a bottle. Right. <laughs> Ghost. Anyone can make a fucking drink that's electrolytes and flavoring, but yeah. because it's Logan Paul, <laughs> it's fucking prime. Well, I mean, Ghost, I like Ghost hydration drinks a lot. Yeah, yeah. those are good. I, I drink the shit out of Ghost energy drinks. Yeah. I'm just saying it's just so weird, like... No, I, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Especially over these companies that have been around for a while, and then one successful YouTuber goes, well, this is my brand now, and then it just blows up from yep. there. Well, how does how, he do it? That's how everything goes nowadays, man. It's, it's wow. annoying as fuck. That's wild. Everyone and like as soon as you get fame, you get a you get a deal, and yeah. then like you for some reason everyone releases a rap song. Yeah, yeah. like Logan Paul and Jake Paul have rap songs out. I will, I will say that's the thing about comedy is like you still have to work for it. Yeah, even, even Shane Gillis, like he's been killing for the past two years, and he just now got with Bud Light on the side. Yeah, and he, even still, like when he does stuff, like he still has to earn people's right. like approval, like SNL. I liked him on SNL when he hosted that, but there was a, some controversy or some like people were like, oh, you know, he didn't do that good. Some people were like, hey, he's not funny. I think it was just a clash of styles and comedy. Yeah. He's very different than the, the typical SNL um, style, but I thought he did good. I thought the episode was good, and I like both Shane and SNL, so. I need right. to sit down and watch the whole episode. I watch clips and pieces. I want to sit there and watch the whole thing from beginning to end. Well, even like his monologue, people like he bombed a monologue, but I thought his monologue was funny as fuck. Yeah. And people were laughing. So, like, what is bombing now? If yeah. you if people are laughing at it, how is right. that? That's not bombing. But people also love to hate on the new people guy. People also we say literally bombing is when turned a guy like you had a hater in your comments. Oh yeah, and oh, I was, I was like, hey, f right off, and yeah. then he was just like, oh, is this your fucking boyfriend? And then yeah. you just kept joking and being cool with him, and yeah. he went from fuck this guy, you're not funny, to like you guys are. Or you're good people, man. Yeah. Like you're yeah. fucking cool. He followed me. He was he he like he followed me and and uh because I was like 
because he said I, he's I, I could do a better Theo Vaughn than that. Right. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, it's the one that just simply said trash at the beginning. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah, see yeah. the whole comment. So you tell him <laughs> F right off though. So, so he said that, and then like Mikey said F right off, F right off. and then he was, oh, this is your boyfriend, F right off. And he was like, oh, this is your boyfriend. And I was like, God, I wish. And then Mikey was like, yeah, I wish. And then he was like, oh, shit, with, like, the eyes. Yeah. And I commented back and was like, dude, you just made, like, young love happen or something. Hell yeah, dude. And then he was like, you guys are pretty good people. And then, Oh, shit, he's the gay. He's yeah. going to be the preacher Charles <laughs> wedding. Yeah. But then he started, like, uh, like he was like, he was like, actually, the Theo wasn't that bad. I think your voice, you could do this, this, or this. You should try these out. I was like, oh, thanks, man. I said, like, hey, yeah. if you want to be on our podcast, you can come do Theo on our podcast. Yeah. Oh, and I was like, follow me. I'll DM you and set it up. And I Got DM'd it. him. And I was like, hey, he followed me. And I followed back. I DM'd him. And I was like, hey, bro, you want to be on the podcast? Do with Theo. He was like, oh, I don't do with Theo. And I was uh, like, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> you know, trash uh, is oh, shit. Now we know got to call off. him, man. We got to call him just to talk shit. And that uh, shit's trash. I can't do fuck. better, but that's fucking trash, dude. <laughs> and his his bio or his on his TikTok account, he he's got one video. It's him in a Billy Joel concert. So I was like, dude, Billy Joel fucks because I like Billy Joel. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And he was like, Billy Joel. And I was like. Your video, your only video. And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I seen him live. And I was like, he fucks, dude. He's cool. He's like, yeah. yeah. I was like, hey, you got a Facebook? I'll add you so I can, like, message you through Messenger and call you on there for the podcast. Yeah. He just never answered that. He might be a fucking bot, dude. It could what be. What if it was a bot? It'd be a bot. Just some guy in Russia just trolling I mean, your ass. He seemed real. Like, he did, like, you can tell if it's a bot because they've got a really bad, like, really bad English. Maybe. And then they'll say like super generic answers. Yes, it depends on how good that AI is that's running the bot. It could yeah. be. I don't know, but he's, I think he's, he seemed pretty real. Um, but, ended up being a pretty cool dude. But that's what I've ever done an AI messaging shit. No. That's like getting popular. I know Snapchat has one. I've never talked to it. Oh, I've oh. talked to my Snapchat. Yeah. Yeah. We don't it's get along. It, you don't get along? It's just, it's, it's nothing special, uh, dude. Yeah, it is, how, like, it's basically creepy Siri. That was it's so basically it's Siri for fucking Snapchat. Uh, now, like, it, it was creepy a couple of months ago. Do you remember this? The AI sent everybody a random Snapchat. Oh, shit. Oh. And it was just a Snapchat of like, like it was like the corner of a, a room. Oh, I didn't get that. See, my Snapchat is that dry. That I didn't even get that from my AI. <laughs> I didn't get that either. I think you, I don't know what the, it, it was, yeah, but I, I got it. Uh, my my cousin got like a lot of people got it and was and people sure. were like kind of freaked out about Maybe it. Maybe they were just testing something. There's no See telling because because here's the thing that's dumb is you get a Snapchat from the AI on there and you get freaked out, but Snapchat will send you Snapchats all the time yeah, right. about holidays. It's, it's the, the same. Holidays. It's probably the same software. You have to remember like Snapchat. I say the AI is dumb because I'm a fucking degenerate and a half. So I'm just trying to fuck with it and trying yeah. to find all the loopholes and you can get yourself in trouble. Sh- stupid shit. You can get, but you gotta remember that Snapchat is also for like children and parents and like yeah. a I lot of big Siri demographic of people back. use Snapchat. And people try to like piss Siri off. From, uh, I had a buddy hold my phone and Siri got upset. And, like it was like after all we've been through, you're gonna act like this. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of scary when. Um, like when some of these AI services get, if they get their, if they get feelings, if AI starts to get feelings, we could low key be in trouble. Oh, that's two weeks in a row with no lights, guys. Uh, that was weird. You put it down, and it immediately went out. I probably fucking slammed it too hard. And splashed it on myself. <laughs> Little Kendall at podcast, guys. Set the mood. Oh, dude. It's Everybody cool. home, I hope you're comfy right now listening to this. Yeah. Dante, did you ever tell us your scariest, like, story? Uh, uh, of my life, yeah. I think hanging out with the boobies. The boobies. Yeah, you were trying to talk. If they listen to this, that'd be a funny joke. But I don't even know if they listen to y'all's show. They don't. Uh, they don't. Trust me, I found out. Um, I'm gonna go tell them. They yeah. need to listen. Uh, we're gonna talk about it. We still. We're only an hour in, man. Yeah. Uh, the scariest. I think I've talked about go. here before. Yeah. The scariest thing that's ever happened to me. Remember, I think I was on here. I'm oh, just, it was the knock at the back door. No, but, that yeah. that just happened recently. The scariest right. thing ever was when. Uh, my, I was doing work with my dad at a house. These two twin sisters died at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. They both had heart attacks. Oh, shit. And then, um, <laughs> this was like months later. Obviously, they cleaned them out. Shit. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> when I was there working with my dad, the front door just didn't shut. Or it didn't stay open. I'm sorry. Yeah. So my dad had put a bucket in front of it to keep it open. And he had to go under the house to run some wires up into the house. And I was, but my job was to catch the wire, just yeah. don't let it fall. I've like been in. there, do that before. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that or holding the flashlights like a coming of oh, age. Oh my god, dad. holding the flashlights like the scariest <laughs> job you could get. Though. Hey, when me and Mikey fix his window, I was holding the flashlights. Don't yell at me, Dad. <laughs> yeah, he had, he puts his head in the fucking way. He's like, move it. I'm like, ah, you're in the, you're doing it. 
And uh, but as soon as he got like as soon as he got under the house, yeah. So I, I hadn't been in there by myself the entire time, but he gets under the house and he starts to run the wire up, and I just hear like a loud slam. Damn. That was a terrible sound effects. But the bucket just slid slowly across. Like, I bought it outside, outside, and the door just slammed super loud. I was there, and I freaked. Yeah, yeah. I was. Close your eyes if you were there. Uh, and I freaked the fuck out, ran outside. And oh like, shit! My dad just hears a door slam, me yelling, and uh-huh. then he's under. I was like, what? Hey! <laughs> what the fuck? Hey! <laughs> what if the wire still got caught and guided up through there while you're outside screaming? Yeah, yeah. Shit. He's, he would run off too. What the fuck? He's just, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> he's just like, hey, don't pull the wire too far. I gets caught up in my leg and I run outside, pulls it all the way through. <laughs> he's like, god damn it, I gotta do it again. Just snatched the whole thing through, yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't super scary, but. Uh, That's pretty terrifying. It's pretty scary, something, yeah, especially depending on how old you are or whatever. Oh, I was like eight, nine. Yeah, yeah that was fucking horrifying. Uh, do you have a scary story? Nah, I don't have anything scary. I think I've seen a creature before, but nothing like Ooh. terrifying. Do, did you talk about that on the podcast? Maybe. I, I, I remember we it, talked about it. Maybe it was this one or Cryptid Cult Conspiracy Podcast. We, just, we were talking Conspiracy about Conspiracy Network. The uh, You and somebody else, both of y'all saw the same thing? Yeah. I think that was recent on here. No shit. I think. Damn. I've been listening to a lot of conspiracy and monster yeah. shit lately. I think the more that you listen to that shit, the more that you see start seeing shit. Yeah. Right. You allow yourself to, your mind opens up to it. Yeah. Right. That's what well, they say is lots of kids can see like spirits and stuff and they just kind of close their mind off to that when they close off their imaginations getting older. Right. That's a good idea. Yeah. That, that. What if you're just getting more bursts of DMT as a child? Might be. Because your brain makes that shit. Yeah. yeah. So when you're a kid, it's just like... It's just little DMT bombs until you're five year old, like in kindergarten, and just like, but you come into reality, like, what the fuck's going on? What am I doing here? You want to play with blocks? <gasps> you have like this curse existential issue that you deal with for the rest of your life, and you don't know what's real and what's fake, and if everything around you is just a simulation that you're a part of, and you have no reason for being in it, but you're in it, and you just think that everything revolves around you, but it's not like in a self concluded way, it's just more so in like a Wow, the fuck did I get here? Kind of way, or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you grew up in church, and now you're questioning reality as you come along. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's normal. Br- it's brutal. It's brutal. It's normal. It's life. It happens. We're all going to hell or not. Who knows? Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. You boys want to make yeah. some motherfucking money and start a church? Hell yeah, Ooh, brother. Here we go. I'm down. Um, and then one day they'll talk about us on Crypto Conspiracy Cult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultimately, either we all die or we get killed. Yeah, it's just Chris's memoirs from prison. Yeah. <laughs> He's the one that takes out the cult. Yeah, Bro. He was the cult. <laughs> we, should, we should write a movie called Crypto Conspiracy Cult. And it's just like a bunch of stories about this cult. And that then, started from a podcast. And at the oh. end, it is a memoir of a guy in prison as Chris is in prison. Worshipper Jones. Yeah. <laughs> You weren't around for those days. Those are some fun days on the podcasting network. No, that's when Mikey thought it was too cool to be my friend. I didn't know you. <laughs> you were still in middle school, probably. <laughs> no shit. You yeah, probably were at least early high school. It's been like 2018, 2017. Motherfucker. Probably earlier than that, dude. I graduated in 2016. Oh, okay. He's in middle school. Fuck <laughs> y'all. <laughs> y'all just fireballed me. Wrong fireballs. I, so. I said at least early high school. Was, yeah. In 2018? It, was it 2018? I think so. Mikey, you're not that that much older than me. It could, uh, we've been doing the podcast for a while, or Alex yeah. has been doing the podcast for a while. 2016, I was still in college. Were yeah. we podcasting? 17 or 18, because it's when we're still working together. And I left that place in 17. Well, me and Alex were working together. Gotcha. Because, like, the eighth episode of that show, I remember when he lost, I was on the show. And he lost that, or that footage got lost. Yeah. Damn. Like it got, oh, dude, it there's got two a, different cursed Halloween episodes. Yeah. We all lost footage. You're just everything was. Yeah, he was trying. To, he went to edit it in his office, and he came looking at me, he looked like he'd seen a ghost. Like, dude, it's gone. Uh, what was it? What, y'all talking about scary shit? Yeah, I wasn't there. Oh, yeah, we're talking about like Bigfoot and aliens, all sorts of shit. Damn. Back in the day. You know what's yeah, crazy? That, that one, and then a year later, that probably would have been 2018, is when you came in and started the uh, your little short stories. Yeah, I know. Two years in a row, I did a short story for a Something Good Network. It was back then. It was just the Something Good for You podcast, and that was your audition. And I would tell Halloween stories on Halloween. 
Yep. So I would sit in my apartment and have have some drinks, smoke some pot, and then just write like three pages worth on Microsoft Word. And then hop in the car and come to the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They get like, oh, two weeks out. Here it is. We'll be doing this. And he's like, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> time to do it. Time to do it. Good times, man. Yeah. Man. That was a. Uh, Somebody was burning something outside and it smells damn good. Yeah. And it's your neighbor over here. I uh, get yeah, over that way. There was some smoke coming. Like a burning leaves in the yard, maybe. I want to do a fireside podcast so bad. That'd be fun. Oh, with it crackling in the We'd background. We'd have to have, like, like clip on, like, shirt mics or something. Yeah. You know, Fireball Mitch didn't want to do uh, whiskey, the whiskey and, and cigars, cigars by the fire. Turn it into a damn podcast by the fire. That'd be kind of sick. Yeah. He probably would. We could He's got that it. little recorder that he uses. Yeah. yeah. So. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, just some normal, yeah. shit. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna step away for just a second. Okay, yeah. All right, bye. Yeah. Bye. See you later. See you, bye. Thank you. Thank you for coming Thanks on. Thanks for having me. God, right. we upset someone else. Don't let in the deagles. <laughs> no, no. How about that last episode, though, man? Yeah. Oh. Do you think I should have edited it differently? No, I, I think it was. It was um, even Dylan from Collective Insanity messaged me. He's like, dude, there's too much going on in that podcast. Sometimes I do, like, some of our podcasts, I'm like, fuck, that, like, it's just, it goes, it gets hectic. But, right. well, it, it was a, sh- it's not, it wasn't a shitty night. It was just a matter of, like, Fireball was late. Super late. And then he came in and he was in, like, I gotta set up this fucking party. Yeah. And part of me is like, God damn it, like, I came here to podcast. Let's fucking podcast. Yeah. But he's also setting up a party for his two year old son. Yeah. So I can't, I don't wanna be that asshole that's just like, hey man. It's about us. Yeah. You mean to open this? Uh, might as well. Fuck it. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back after a brief message from our sponsors. Hey, hey, you're listening to this fucking guy brought to you by this fucking guy. That's right. We do this shit ourselves because no one else is going to pay us to do it. So we pay ourselves. Yeah, bet you didn't know that. And Collective Insanity. Yeah, once a week, me and Dante show up. We put $20 in a pot. We smoke it. <laughs> and that's we it. We do the podcast. That's, that's the, the podcast. podcast. Fireball said I couldn't talk about it on his podcast. but you I don't want to talk about slut life stuff. I don't want to talk about it. You want to talk about some slut life stuff? You guys just got to bring it up like... You want to talk about some slut life? Yeah. You want to talk about that? Huh? Would you like that? Would you? Would, that, would that make you happy? You want to talk about some slut life stuff? You want to talk about like a little naughty boy? You want to talk about a little just... She's my little slut life. Slut life. That was one of my favorite songs too. That's why y'all did a slut life I song. liked that one. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was back before they went to shit. Before the songs went to shit or before Slut Life went to shit? The song, the song. Oh, that's right. Banana Foster's that dessert they light on fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're drinking Banana Foster mead. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like the first mead better. Yeah, I did Just too. a traditional, like, honey style. Yeah, that other one was good as hell. Yeah. I'm about to get some of that sometime. Yeah, that was really good. That was good. I'm a sponsor uh, show. Southern Spirits in South Carolina. South Carolina is they're they know what they're fucking doing with yeah. their liquor stores, man. Alcohol. They probably got sake too. I've never seen sake. North Carolina Carolina. We do. sucks. State line lean in Indiana's yeah. got sake. Hell yeah. Um, I love some hot sake. I've never had it because I've never seen it in the store or State never paid line. attention. That's one of my favorites. Out. Go ahead. Sorry. You ever go out for a hibachi and order it? Nah, a lot, a lot of places have it. Yeah. yeah, Mr. Tokyo has it. Yeah. yeah, and it's not too pricey. It's like nine dollars. Okay, and they put it in a little ceramic like heated thing for you. Oh, nice! And then you pour your own shot. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, there's Get a to go. There's a place yeah. in Lancaster that has uh, lychee berry sake. Is really good. Okay, I like it a lot. Hell yeah! It basically just tastes like fucking juice. And everyone knows the juice is loose. <laughs> What's that Korean stuff that they drink? Um, soju oh yeah you guys ever had soju uh uh-uh. soju's the shit oh, dude shit. it tastes like fucking juice is there a oh, korean shit. barbecue place around here uh charlotte's got a few of them we should go try it i've never had any kind of korean oh my god it's so good dude really yeah but that's one of those like is it expensive or? yeah i don't know where you are financially but that's one of those I'm like good. took a few dollars aside every couple couple oh, of days kind of thing that, that, oh shit yeah um, it's not. It's like forty five, fifty dollars a person. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. That's one of those. But then you add in the drinks the nice. fucking. Oh yeah, if you get in the full, you know full we're gonna drink. go to a bar afterwards. So then you got that tab. Yeah. Quarters for playing pool. Help. 
What's the most money you think you've ever spent on a night out? Not including like a, not like, like a, a ticket price. Yeah, yeah, just like a. Oh man, at least like one hundred thirty. Oh, that's maybe pushing one fifty. Significantly better than me. No shit. Yeah, I think I have a real problem sometimes. Uh, me and my buddy Slade went out to Charlotte. Well, so we started at the... All right, so you're in Charlotte, so... Well, we started at the sports bar, the, the sports cafe in Lancaster, Buford Sports Cafe. Right. Uh, we started there. A couple of beers. I think I, I talked to him into taking a shot with me. Slade didn't really do liquor like that. Right. Um, and that really place is very affordable. Yeah, right. So. <laughs> and and uh, so we start there, and then our uh, girl I know calls me. She's like, hey, it's my birthday. You have to come out with us. Uh-oh. Yeah. And, uh, oh. and uh, so I was like, all right, fuck it. Let's go. And so it's like, it's 11 o'clock when we're leaving Lancaster. Yeah. So it's already kind of late. Go by the pizza end. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we get to uh, the, the first club in there. And um, I think I buy two shots. He gets uh, two beer. And then I get a beer. And then they they decide to go to... Um, they decided to go to another club. So we go to another club. And we buy a couple more beer, a couple more beer. Uh, and then we go to just a, a small, quiet, like a... Pool, pool hall type bar. Yeah. More beer, a couple more shots. Um, and then it's like 2.30 in the morning. Uh-huh. Places are supposed to be closed. And then this girl goes, I know one place that stays open till 4. It's another club. So we go back and we go to this club. Damn. Here's a funny story. It's 3 in the morning. We're riding through Charlotte. Me and Slade in the front seat. There is a back seat full of... Just outing Slade this whole story. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> there is a back seat full of girls. Four or Hell five yeah. girls. Just singing, dancing. <laughs> yeah, all underage, brother. And oh, me and Slade, what me and Slade are doing is we're playing Get the Gap on repeat. We don't realize that the, it's that when, he, when he, he was driving, so he put the song on. He didn't realize that it was on repeat. <laughs> oh, so no. we're playing Get the Gap, Get the Gap, Get the Gap. <laughs> and we're in the front just dancing. Wait, he, who's driving? Slade is. Should he be driving? Mm, that's not important. Okay. Um. So and this was a couple oh, years shit. ago. We're sorry. Uh, don't hate us. And, but uh, we're do get the gag, get the gag, get the gag. And the girls are in the back, and I, I turn around and I'm like, do what is it? To them. And they're like, all right, dude. We played this song for like ten straight minutes, <laughs> and I and I finally like Slade was like, this is a really fucking long song, isn't it? And I was like, I think it is. And he was like, oh, yeah. bro, that's a two minute song. We've been playing oh, it on repeat at least five times. Oh yeah. And then we go to the the final. Uh, bar place the final club place uh it's in the middle of downtown charlotte we're out there we're fucking drinking more and uh one of the girls is like hey my apartment's actually right like near here i got i made some slut brownies y'all would come with some slut brownies so we go she trying to fuck right If if you have never had a slut brownie it is the best thing you will ever put in your mouth it's brownie mixed with chocolate chip cookie dough mixed with oreo with oh, icing on the top. That sounds amazing. It's like diabetes in a pan. It's so <laughs> fucking good. So fucking good. And we go back to Lancaster. I go home. And the next day, I check my bank account. I spent $450. Damn. Holy shit. Yeah. God, I'm so, that's, that's a lot of that's money. That's a lot of yeah. money, dude. I'm glad you had it in your account, too. I'm glad I had it in my account, too. <laughs> This was during, uh, this was, uh, um, that's when he called a credit card company. Yeah, somebody yeah, stole my, yeah, yeah. stole my car and had the night of their lives, I'm assuming. This was, <laughs> this was right after things started opening back up from COVID. Yeah. So I had a bunch of money, like, that I was getting from the rec department from COVID. Yeah. For not working. So I just had that money, but I never stopped working at my other job. Yeah. So I, I had, like, double paychecks coming in. Oh, okay. So I had so a, you had it set uh, aside. Yeah, I had spend it, yeah. It, yeah. Okay. But, uh, Yeah. And four fifty sounds like a lot to us, but like you got to think to like ballers. That's probably like a yeah. basic fucking like or whatever. That's entry fee to the clubs are going to. Yeah, I know a guy who he rented out. It was his wife's birthday. He rented out an entire half of a club uh-huh. or the entire. It was a two story. He like the top story. It was like five thousand dollars before they even got there. Oh shit! Holy so, shit! So to a real motherfucker, it's like four fifty and shit. Yeah, but to me, I was like, all right. I gotta slow down going out that, and that's why I quit going out like that I don't go out a lot I more so just kind of hang out and I go out to the right places man you just gotta know what spots to go to yeah yeah 
reminds me of when uh, that bar me and Gene Oakland cool. was at Mad Monster Party, and the next day he was there for the Hogan and Roddy Piper little Q and A. Yeah, and uh, he he was in the hotel bar the night before. Like a buddy of mine ran into him and had some drinks with him. Yeah, but he was up there. He's like, "Boy, my wallet, my liver, mad at me this morning." Damn, <laughs> what a classic Mean Gene voice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mean Gene. God, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it was right under me. Yeah, scared the fuck out of you. It just blew right past the barrier too. Okay, scariest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go, I've got, a, I've got a new one. Shit. <laughs> if you're listening to this in your headphones, I am so sorry. By the way, <laughs> I'm not. That's the podcast, man. You want the deagle? You get the deagle. God, this fucking deagle. My heart stopped. <laughs> really? It, God, it hurts. I think I'm desensitized to that shit, man. That just startled me as all. Well, I, just, I have a small dog. She she doesn't. Do, she could have barked to the top of her lungs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my neighbor just got home. They don't, oh. they don't like that. Oh, it hurts. I've got palpitations right now. Yeah. <laughs> How do you guys do with jump scares? Hate them. Yeah. I fucking hate them. I'm a pussy. I usually don't mind them as far as like, it's whatever. I don't like when movies and games and stuff yeah. rely on that to make Which their shit go. Scary. What about like Haunted House jump scare? Like... I mean, that's mainly what a haunted house is. I yeah, that's all jump scares. I fall for it every time, dude. <laughs> oh, 100%. I'm, I'm so I'm happy happy when they can catch me off guard. With them. Yeah, usually dude. I see them coming. I've worked in haunted houses, so I usually yeah. know kind of how they're laid out. Well, I remember at Scare Winds, there's this one where they would just like, they'd be in the walls and just have a little shit. They could slide yep. to the side and they'd slide it so hard that it'd make a loud just whoosh. Yeah. Like, ah! Yeah, you just yeah. jump. Yeah, dude. The biggest thing to make Every sure one's you not shake their hand. Could I could be looking right at the fucking little yeah. trap door and just still. Or no one like there's something coming from that that corner right yeah. there. As soon as you get up on it, it's jumping. Scarewinds kind of suffers from having to try to put too many people through their scares in one night. Oh yeah. That a lot of times when a group's going through, you're catching the, the actors as they're resetting. Yeah, yeah. They're not in position waiting yeah. for you. So it's well, like, oh, the best well, part about Scarewinds is the riots, man. Yeah. Because no one's in line for anything yeah. except yeah. the the spooky houses. Yeah. What do they call them? Haunted house. Haunted house. <laughs> my uh, my my younger cousin works as Michael Myers in the uh, the nine hundred three haunted house. Nice. I know Dylan. I think he still works at the one haunted house out his way. Maybe you used yeah. to do a lot of that, right? I did. I used to go to like a lot 13th of Thirteenth Acre. I, I worked Thirteenth Acre one season about ten years ago, and did then for a few years, me and my friend would go up to like the Winston Salem area, or we went up towards Hickory stuff like that, and check Hickory. out some different haunted trails. Nice. Didn't we talk about going to the Thirteenth ter- Acre as a group next year? I don't know the, if we talked about it, but that would be fun. I we've thought, been talking about a lot of group yeah, shit. Yeah. We need to start like following up on things. To Dante, he posted we need about a something good in. network calendar that we can all be a part oh, of. Oh yeah, we all like pose for it. Actually, do shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he posted about an old driving out his With way. The month of Kelsey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that movie theater. Yeah, yeah. yeah and there's movie. one in Belmont that still uh, that still runs. That would be cool. Basically, wanna, we all drive up there and we park separately and maybe I'll ride in the back of Mikey's truck because they charge per to car load. Oh, really? Yeah, so we can have everybody pile up. Yeah, so everybody pile up in the truck. I almost want to do... go in and park. This will be kind of hard. Oh, so I got to drive. All right. Well, I mean, you got to pick all up truck. Right. 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 Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, everybody sit in the back of Mikey's yeah. truck. It's fine. <laughs> we can all get drunk. And, Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> I was <laughs> dressed park there as a kid. That was wild. I was. I always wanted. I want to do a comedy show at a driving theater, and that'd be fun. Would, it would be hard, right? But it, I think it'd be so cool to do. Yeah. Like it would be hard for me as a comic because, like, I tell the not like it's like it's hard, but you tell the joke and then you can't hear the laughter. God damn, they're laughing so hard that truck is shaking. Yeah, you have to imagine them <laughs> laughing in their truck. You're like, hey, it's a little day, blah 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 blah. But they have like a radio station that your mic is like linked yep. to, so it's in the they can you know. I'm sure they all got their windows down. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I that's have how my they, windows down. They, so that's how they did COVID church. They had they would pull be in the parking lot with their windows down, and the preacher had a mic, and you know how they yell, "Hey man, brother!" They would just honk their horns. That, that, was that such would a get on my nerves. Time, so dude, yeah, yeah. What the fuck was that, man? 2020 was nuts. What's crazy though is you know they're saying all oh, everybody could. I mean, people were dying from the sickness. It was what it is, what it is, but oh, yeah. it kind of answered the questions of movies like Bird Box and stuff, where there's something going around killing people. And like, how could people be so dumb to go outside if they're going to die when they go outside in Bird Box? It's like, oh, here it is happening. They say, go out, don't go outside, and people are still pushing their envelope, doing whatever. Yeah. 
or you like the opposite too like uh like the people that just kind of like blindly follow what I, and i don't like i'm not either yeah. side but people like would blindly follow hey wear your mask and then there were yep. points where they're like hey these masks don't work and they're like well just wear it you know just you know, wear it on your way in the door but once you hit your table and you're seated take it you off, can yeah. take it off and it's like we all know like that's not how this works but it's yep. like yeah well they yeah, that's just what they're telling us to do and so it's like the, you get both sides of it like right how many of us will just blindly follow something yeah. and how many of us yeah like don't care about like I, I yeah we're not even blindly follow but like like me personally I thought most of it was fucking bullshit but I'm still gonna follow the rules like yeah, I'm not gonna be that guy that's yeah. just like oh I'm not wearing my fucking mask you got to kick me out of your store then yeah. Harris yeah. Teeter the, suck my dick Harris Teeter yeah. the guy that thinks he's a patriot cause he's telling some 90 year old lady at Walmart yeah. I'm not gonna wear Don't a mask fuck off. and she's like bro I'm literally just Why don't you get right off yeah <laughs> I'm just trying to check your receipt. Yeah. I hate... When I see those videos, I get so fucking mad. <laughs> oh, you should talk to Chris about it. it well, here, I, 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 I've heard his take on it. I've heard his take. My thing is, it's not the fucking ladies. Like, that's what they tell her to do. That's her fucking right. job, bro. Yeah. Like, don't Yo, fucking bitch at her. Here's, here's something fun for you guys. I worked at Walmart one summer. And the middle of the summer is when they would have, like, a giant staff meeting. So the store manager would, like, head the meeting and all the employees were there. Yeah. And he told us that their net loss from theft alone was $1.9 million. <laughs> yeah. And that was a celebration because that was the lowest it had been in seven years. A Damn. celebration of that yeah, point. Yeah, it was a fucking like, holy shit, we were below two million dollars lost from thieves. Was that the That's, Monroe location? Yeah. Yeah, I worked there, and the Christmas season I worked there, we oh. had like uh, the best um, like overhead. You know, we made yeah. we made the most money, uh, and you know, figured, hey, that make for good bonus for everybody. Yeah, oh, we didn't fucked. get bonuses. We had the top selling store in the he gets some donuts in the, the break room yeah, on the, the day you don't work region, but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember how they call it and break it down it was best one in the area best Walmart uh, division only one division, did not get a yeah. bonus yeah Damn. My mom worked day shift at the same Walmart, and she overheard the store manager like, "They gave me a twenty thousand dollar bonus. I didn't know what to do with it, so I bought the wife a new car." <laughs> yeah, he would have got a twenty thousand dollar ass with And then she's like, it. "You know, he's sitting there joking. That's more than most of the people yeah. sitting in that room make it a year." And the store managers make bank. Dude, yeah, the Walmart store about manager that some extra bonus. He didn't dude, know what to do like one hundred thirty a year plus. Yeah, like one thirty starting salary for a Walmart store manager. We um that is nuts. What did you do at Walmart? Go ahead. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. You, 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 go ahead. I started out with the uh, a remodel back in like 2010, 2011, and then did overnight stocking. Dope. Oh, nice. oh man, overnight crew is where it's at. Yeah, yeah, but that was fun. But like also like you saw the drunk motherfuckers and yeah, the yeah. crackheads fighting in the parking lot. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Or they're in the parking lot, so it's not your problem. Yeah, at least you're not bothering. Well, they're the ones yeah. that slept in the <laughs> bothering anybody. You remember exactly. where that pond is in the woods by Walmart? Yeah, they were. They had a tent out there. Nice. And they were sitting on the back of some customer. <laughs> All of his Lake customer employees the truck. They were sitting on the dude's truck. And one of them broke the other one's crack pipe. Mm. So they're out there arguing. I'm going to fucking burn your tent down. And it caused a commotion. I think a customer or an employee overheard them and came and told some of us inside what was going on. Yeah, that'll get you fucked up. Uh, yeah. They dropped the crack pipe and it broke. So he's going to burn the other guy's tent to the ground. <laughs> the manager walked out there. He's like, I don't give a fuck. He goes, get off my property. <laughs> What's your story, Dante? Oh, I just, we, uh, at my store, we were an award for some shit. Some, like, it was like... Of all the stores, uh, way to do uh, action required. If you do it, you get entered to win a bonus. An and, action uh, required. Like something you have to do. <laughs> what does that mean? It's it's like all right, you have to set this section like this. You have to take a picture of it and send it in to show them you did it. Wow. They call those action required. I call that micromanaging, but it okay. is it is, is micromanaging. <laughs> but if if you send it in on time, you get entered to win a bonus. Oh yeah. Uh, Jesus. There's all the stores in the area. Yeah. We, we never win because we're Lancaster, but we finally won one, and uh, it's just a bonus for the managers, not for everyone else. Wow. Damn. It was like a uh, $600 bonus. Nothing crazy. Damn. But I, uh, that pyramid scheme at work, man. Yeah. But I split it with my part-timers, and one of them got in trouble because he sent a message on our Teams app. We have an app where like, all the like other stores are on. Yeah. And he was like, I think it's shitty that GNC only would send the manager money and not the part-timers. Thankfully, I have a good manager who like split it with us. Damn. If I didn't, I could only imagine. But he got called. I was like, don't ever like 
say stuff like that again in this in this group chat. That's, Damn. that's so fucked. Dude. Yeah, they can't do that legally. Oh, I don't know what South Carolina rules are. Never mind. It's a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, I know North Carolina. Like, if your employees are discussing pay and all that stuff, like you can't interfere with that. You're 100 percent allowed to do that. Yeah, we're. We, we all, talked about this on the podcast. Yeah. 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 Well, I, th- I think we are. Because you were applying for that job. Yeah. That's so, yeah, South Carolina is the same thing, man. You can, they can't do that to that poor guy. Yeah. I've actually had in jobs group in chat. North Carolina tell, tell us that it was illegal to talk like that. Yeah. But they'll fire you. It's like, no, that's not illegal. Right. It's, it's against company cop policy, probably yeah. not illegal. The big shovel that was doing all sorts of shady shit with, uh, what they were doing is like if you worked over 40 they didn't want to pay you overtime they're like we'll just put this on next week and that's like one of the first textbook things they say right. dude you work so that means I get wait eight hours off next week yeah. I don't have yeah. to come in Friday well, that's what they do they're just sending you home the next week and shit like that and here's what's crazy is you expect that from a vape shop right yeah the rec department that I worked at used to do that uh-huh. that's Damn. fucking government ran shit and then they would be like we'll put that on next week and then next week they're like ah, we really need you to work this week so we're gonna put it the week after you you finally have to tell them like you're gonna fucking give me overtime or I'm not working anymore yeah Damn. and um that's why so many dudes that's extra do construction hours this week man. I'm away from my family you're gonna give me the overtime yeah. dude when I was working at the rec it was shitty I was working seven days a week how bad it is when I left the rec department they hired three people to do my job oh Damn. shit and uh, yeah I was upset I was like bro cause all I wanted was to be full time cause I was I was a part time worker working seven but I was getting more than 40 hours of yeah, benefits yeah. right so I was like give me a small raise make me like full time with benefits that goes back to Walmart too. Walmart will not hire somebody full time. They hire Ooh. you as part time and then still work you yeah. close to full time hours, yeah. but without the full time benefits. So you get no benefit. Yeah, That's but true. it also encourages you to work up to a management position. Yeah. So That's yeah. the end goal. But the thing with the rate department too was I applied for higher like full time positions. Yeah, and they would never hire me. And I kind of asked one of the directors one time. I was like, like, like is, do you think like am I not good at my job? It was, and then she said, if you want me to be honest, I think the problem is that you're so good at your job. Like, they are scared they wouldn't find a good replacement. So I was like, well, that's fucked. Well, I, 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 that makes a lot of sense to me, actually. Yeah. I've seen it so many times. So that's why I ended up leaving that job. You guys ever work construction? Mm-mm. They a pass out over time like this goddamn but, candy, man. God, I get so many overtime hours working construction. Especially on rainy days, like you oh, just yeah. sit in the truck and watch uh, tutorials and educational videos. They just log get that as your hours for the day. Yeah, I worked surveying. Like, we did videos. that too. If it was raining, sometimes yeah. they'd be like, "Oh, it looks like the rain's not gonna last long. Just stay out there." Yeah, you're just sitting in the truck. You got your pop tarts on the fucking windshield yeah. Yeah, with the heat up. So they get nice and warm. Sometimes we'd burn in the survey points with a GPS system, and they called it. They said GPS, and that's thing meant getting paid to sit. My uh, my buddy worked road road work. He said, "Bro, he said I promise you." He said, "I don't know if everyone does this, but he said my crew, we have a big ass cooler of beer. We just sit around drinking beer all day." <laughs> One guy's like fucking on the whatever machinery doing uh-huh. road shit. And this is South Carolina where the roads are like fucking yeah, awful. So pretty bad. But uh. I was like, yeah, that makes sense why the roads are so fucking crooked and bumpy and fucked and up. Shit, even Fireball was telling us about that construction crew that was drinking beer and making a... They ran a power cord to like a microwave or some shit yeah, for burritos. Shit. They just do stupid shit, yeah. yeah. Why not, man? You've got one guy working, one guy holding the stop sign. Yeah. He flips it, you go by, and you see like 20 people in between just standing around talking. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that happens. Working man. as a surveyor, though, you see why a lot of that standing around happens. No, yeah, it's not like it's their fault. They're going to do. Uh, yeah, yeah. you got to wait for the guy operating the machine to do his yeah. job first. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's not like it's their fault or anything. Or like it's just, it's just one job we did. Uh, Four eighty five up towards North Lake Mall area. And that you know up till about 10 15 years ago or probably closer to 15 years ago now that was still just nothing there and then yeah. they completed the loop our company helped do all the survey work there we've completed the loop <laughs> and we'd go mark out what they needed to pay for that and then their dump trucks or whatever would just run over our marking and it's not like you yeah. just set the stakes back up because literally you have a piece of wood in the ground and you have the elevation and stuff set to that and where they need to raise or lower the road to make it line up with the rest of it you run it over you knock it out of you knocked it out of balance. There was, I worked uh, underground, like construction, so laying water line for uh-huh. new housing developments. And sometimes, like, 
like property owner or the developer would just push it so it's like as soon as you said all right this is technically done they'd be like all right next step so they yeah. we'd lay the pipe and the so oh, water line yeah. yeah we'd lay pipe we'd lay yeah, the pipe yeah, and we'd yeah. also uh do the runoff like the sewage lines uh -huh. and then they would just immediately like get someone out there to pave the road for the street shit <laughs> until we had already like completed our testing process yeah so we didn't even tested the shit first we just said all right construction's done but we got to test it but all they saw was construction's done let's go fucking pave these streets uh, yeah no. and so so many times we'd find like a problem with the work that we'd done and you so you have to dig it up and like redo it and so we'd be out there like cutting up the sidewalk or the actual pavement on the road yeah with like a saw blade <laughs> people get so, so yeah and so if you ever go through like a new neighborhood and there's just like a random like square patch of like asphalt that's what that was oh shit sure. yeah. just someone fucked up the water line but they From paved it too quick the survey side of things we would go find existing pipelines like that have the mark goes out if they're going to do construction in the area yeah that way they knew like if we do this in a road here it's going to fuck up the waterways all the way this way that way they know exactly where they'd have to right. re redirect everything hey are you any good at math i used such to be. a random question <laughs> but to the autism was, no yeah. well it was just like when i worked construction when we were like laying water lines and shit uh engineer would have to come to the site and like kind of go over blueprints and just more or less inspect what we did but yeah. they didn't inspect jack shit they would literally <laughs> just show up and like check it off on a check sheet and then drive off yeah it looks good to me but right. i was talking to one of the guys and i'm just like so you you like plan all this shit right he's like yeah i'm like so what it's just like a bunch of triangles and trigonometry and just put it on paper he's like yeah pretty much <laughs> i'm like god damn dude i'm out here working in the dirt doing this shit for 13 bucks an hour Meanwhile, this guy who's good at 10th grade level math is getting $100,000 a year <laughs> to draw it on some fucking graph paper. What's up, Deagle? That's weird. Jobs are weird, huh? College degrees are weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. Do a full stand-up special where it's like, that's weird, huh? That's weird, right? That's, that's weird. the name of the special. It's just observational comedy, but it's not funny. It's just observations. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. Fences are weird, huh? Fences are weird, right? They keep stuff out or keep stuff in. I used to work construction. Anyone here ever lay pipe before? Just silence. All right, well, here's the next 15 minutes about that. <laughs> Bro, there's nothing worse than when you know for a fact that this is where you want to go with something, and you're like, you tee it up. Hey, yeah. who, here, who here knows blah, blah, blah? And it's just like nothing. You're like... Yeah, I just stay away from that shit, dude. I'm not even going to bother. Uh, I like how uh, the open mic, you played it like you're going to go away from what you brought up. Oh, uh, yeah. You guys like impressions? Or uh, yeah. It's like, well, good thing I don't fucking do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm such a dick. Like, I want the crowd to react like yeah. that so that I can please say fuck you. Good thing I don't do it. Yeah, right off. And then when they don't react, I'm like, oh, y'all suck. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I'm such a baby. But I know that Take happened when I did the, uh, hey, who's driving that gray Honda Silic out there? <laughs> yeah. And, and Somebody like so it was, after the set came yeah. up said something. Was nobody said anything. <laughs> so nobody said anything during the set. And I was like, I just want to let you know I totaled that bitch on the way in. Well, they're all too busy listening to that woman. Ah, dude, she was so annoying. <laughs> but then after the set, the dude came up. He's like, Hey, when you said that about the great Honda, that's my car. I got kind of nervous. I was like, You couldn't say like, Hey, hmm. me, you know, and. uh he was like, I actually thought you hit my car for a second. He made it very like, awkward. It's like, come on, he, he's, comedy, dude. He seemed mad. Like, yeah. he, he was like, I was like, what the fuck did you do to my car? And I was, I was like, out there across the road looking at it. Yeah, he did, bro. He no, walked out there. When he, after the set, he came from outside and was like, hey, that's my car. And it wasn't much longer, <laughs> and he had left. Yeah. I was I like, I'll get the fuck out of here before this guy hits it again. Jesus. God damn, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We need a comedy open mic. You yeah, can't. I like I like that that spot. I don't yeah. want to say the name. I, I like that spot a lot, but it's just I don't think it's a look. Like it's a great place for comedy. Yeah, you know, they talk about doing the little gigs up there. If you guys were to set that up, you know, yeah, the hour. Try to fill an hour. I mean, you could you could fill the hour with like I don't know what are you guys doing a longer set and a couple other smaller sets leading up to it. make yeah. a whole like show or like me and Don take it to an hour yeah. easy dude like 15 minutes I stand you know promote it a good yeah. set maybe get more comedy crowd out there yeah and Mike could we, yeah. could, we could probably if they let us do it as a duo I think we could definitely yeah. make it work but she was like yes yeah, it's uh you, you come out you do a mini gig you go about an hour I was like <laughs> that's a gig gig a there's gig nothing gig, mini yeah. about that yeah. Yeah. maybe well, it's a mini I don't it's know, a mini gig for music set. man is it even most a people when they hire a musician they want three hours like, that's the minimum really yeah 
Do you play three hours at a time? I don't. I've never. I don't play music out like that. Oh no, I didn't know. I was just asking. No, I don't. I don't do that. I don't know enough songs. I don't want to learn covers and fucking. That's what I was saying. Like three hours is a long fucking time. Yeah, what it's usually with openers and stuff too, though. Oh yeah. You got sixty minutes in a fucking hour. You got each song's relatively three minutes. I think I've done an hour twenty. Is the most I've ever done. Like an hour twenty, hour thirty, maybe. So I've got the, I could do the time. Longest yeah. stream I ever did was nine hours. I, the time. I did a nine hour stream once. Nine hour stream? Yeah. Did you have to go to the bathroom yeah. or anything? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> People that are just a joke that streamers don't use the bathroom. Pee, man? What were you playing? Um, that might have been Red Dead Redemption back then. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Uh, the Eagles. People used to do uh, like marathon streams where they'd stay alive for like 48 hours until basically Twitch would cut them off. That's what I was, I've seen that before, but how does that like, what do you do? Like you say, I have to work the bathroom, I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then they started where people could sleep on stream or, or basically, because used to, if you weren't making content, they counted as, hey, you're, you're abusing the system. Now they have a sleeping channel. You can actually go and there's people fucking sleeping on camera. I but what people that. have done for that is they'll make what they call an uncapped subathon. Yeah. Where they stay live when they go to bed at night. That's Even crazy. if they're not on camera, they'll just have like a be right back scene as I'm sleeping. I was like, that's kind of cheating. You're not really doing anything extra. You're just leaving your ca- your stream up while you're away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you're on camera for days on end, I think that's a little better because that actually makes you feel like you're doing a crazy stretch goal. Yeah, I think it's weird. Like I've seen people live on TikTok, and you. Uh-huh. Like, you just pop up and they're like that's sleep and it's like watch me sleep and it's like that's so fucking yeah. weird to me i don't know and they, if you watch if you like sit and watch someone sleep for long enough it can become really creepy if it's yeah. like um that's a creepy concept too but i don't know i i, I have the ability to go live on tiktok because i got like enough followers yeah. but i never was that like a thousand or something yeah it just it, it I don't. Ne- I never know what to do or say. Like yeah. just to just it, like, you can't do a stand up set. No. And every time we try to podcast and go live, we, it just goes way too fucking off the rails. What I may end up doing one day is just like let us just sit and talk on our podcast and like set the, the live up. Yeah. While we're, while we're just recording. Um, because they say that's a good way to get new followers. Yeah. Because uh, you you pop up on more people's page that way, and it's supposed to put like. Things that pop up for live on your on your for you page are supposed to be things that you're into. Yeah, but I don't I, mean, I don't know how that works. I've seen people like Twitch streamers will have their oh, stream shiny. going. Yeah, yeah, take a little shiny moon, and uh, they'll have their Twitch stream going, and they'll have me talking off the side. They have their phone set up on TikTok Live. Yeah, and the TikTok Live is um, they're like, hey, come on over and watch me on Twitch if you want to see the gameplay and stuff too. Doing it at the same damn time. Is that enough? Yeah, so no. no, that's good. Isn't the moonshine like a little bit stronger than the? Thirty uh, percent. Oh man, shoot, <laughs> man! It's that blue lightning or whatever, blue flame. Yeah. Oh, we're scared of the blue flame. <laughs> That's my D. S <laughs> my D. Yes. Right here. Oh, I see it. Oh man. Yeah, I uh. Yeah, man. We knew this. Yeah, guy. man. We used to, uh, we used to, uh, moonshine shine. Tuck each other's penises in the darkness, man. <laughs> we used to turn the lights off. And, uh, Blue we was in my mouth. Yeah. We, we would, uh, we'd play, uh, we'd play sink or swim, except for we'd call it sucker, <laughs> sucker swim. Damn. And, uh, it was a cool time, man. I'm working on trying to do more. Have you heard my Adam sound? You heard my Adam. Yeah, yeah, you did Adam at the open. I'm trying to work on that one because Adam's like my all time, but I can't do new Adam. Yeah. I can only do the the old. And even that's like, it's okay. It's not great, but. um, New Adam just sounds a little little grumpier, a little older. Yeah, deep. He's a little bit deeper. A little deeper, yeah. Um, I've been trying to do that. I've been trying to not make that my thing because it's not I never did it before you take angry Adam angry younger Adam like, yeah uh, I think Billy Matt not Billy Madison happy go more when yeah. he gets grumpy and yeah. angry slow that down and, and lower it a little bit you might get a little one out of it yeah it's a good idea some people liked your impressions man yeah my well, two well, friends that came out to the open mic they really enjoyed it well I was just telling him like I like I like doing them I like learning them trying to yeah. learn them I just don't want it to be like because I didn't I never did it before being on David and Dana's podcast so I don't want it to be like mm-hmm. 
what he, you're known for. Yeah, he was yeah. on that podcast, and now he thinks that's all. He, you know, it's like no, I just well, that's what we're f- all thinking right now. See, yeah. Dante thinks he's something because uh, yeah. he was on the Dana Carvey David Spade podcast. Their podcast space when they got sixty thousand people trying to get on there. Yeah, yeah. David Spade actually said, right. "Hey, quit hogging." Quit hogging. Did hogging you hear spot. that? Yeah. <laughs> I watched it. No, I, I, I sank it. No, I sank it. It is so cool, dude. It really is. Yeah. It's cool. It it was it was really cool. That's I, you uh, now. That's who you are. You might as well just fucking lean into it, man. Be the third guy. Well, I get nervous about people being like this dude. Like this could be your launching point. Because I always made a joke at a stand-up show one time. Like, uh, uh, I can't remember how I said it. Up. I used to fuck chicks. Yeah. Uh, or I was gonna set up just like uh, David Spade and Carvey. Who said that? <laughs> yeah, I was on their podcast, and then just kind of talk about it. Um, no, that wouldn't be funny. Yeah, see, the, you didn't get a laugh here, so. <laughs> so this is where I test out my jokes right it here. It is cool though, man. It really is fucking cool. It was. Dude. It uh, I made Dante feel bad for promoting on the podcast. Yeah. No, I just think <laughs> I do feel sometimes like I, I come off as narcissistic, and I really don't want to sound like I am. Yeah. So uh, I, I am. So you just want to make sure we. But have I don't want to sound like I have a good image for you. Okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That we view you, view you in the highest respects. So there we go. I want yeah, y'all to just think that narcissistic at all. I just want y'all to think that I'm the best version of a human possible. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just want people to enjoy the fucking show and share it to their friends. Yeah. Yeah, man, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> if you like us, clap your hands or something. Yeah, or don't. Um, we got some loyal fans. I will say that. Yeah, we the got people we, that do listen. Fucking listen. They listen hard. Yeah, they quote. They it listen hard, us. dude. Yeah. They listen like with a hard on. It's really kind of weird. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard. To I, think hard of, while listening. <laughs> I think some of. I think some of it's on keep us. Keep your phone set in your lap too. Still keeps it up. Yeah. You think it's on us? Some of it's the on two us. guys that run the podcast. Yeah. Well, can go on because we we will give them really good episodes and we will give them dog. You remember shit. episode five, dude? You remember when episode five was the pinnacle of the podcast? Well, uh, I think that was the first one we recorded at the Rich Hill Community Center, right? Maybe. Was it? I think it, it might have been. I just remember up that until was episode we were 13, we were like, episode 5, just That's, go listen to episode That is five. the one. That is the episode. Have we had one since then? <laughs> we were like, dude. We no, have. I yeah, think, we I have. Think when, we're, when we were sitting here talking, I think it. we have a lot of fun, and I just hope it comes through. Sometimes I feel like it does, and then like when I'm listening to it back, I'm laughing because I was like, "Oh, I remember what we were doing." Oh, dude, I feel like such a piece of shit for laughing at my own jokes or at your jokes that I've already heard before. No, nah, fuck like, that. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Just we're, like, ah, uh, we're fucking funny dudes, dude. Ah uh, man, Chris made me laugh. Uh, the latest Couch Potatoes episode. He was talking about the uh, the tuna and the Fruit Loops. He's like, if I could imagine what a sunfish tastes like, that was <laughs> it. <laughs> That food stuff wasn't that bad. Honestly, dude, I'd say the the tuna and the Fruit Loops was probably one of the better ones. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. When we shoved the chocolate covered hot dog into the Twinkie filled with baked beans, yeah, that's when I lost it. That, that was that the, was that was the worst one, and I don't know why. Like I, I and that liked, was me just making it harder on us. The Twinkie baked beans thing, I liked. I did. That one wasn't bad. I didn't. I didn't dislike that one either. But I'm sticking by the. Is that why you said I'm mad? Because you kind of liked it a little yeah. bit. Um, I'm sticking by if we if they had given me corn dogs or at least mini corn dogs. Yeah. And had me dip it in hot chocolate, hot fudge. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Like with a plain fountain. hot dog covered in chocolate. That yeah. Was disgusting. That was gross. And it was raw, dude. Yeah. I was like, that's not what I shared. They're like, oh, it's fully cooked in the package. I'm like, no, you still got to cook those yeah. things, man. <laughs> even the, even these a hot ain't dog Vienna meat. sausages. Yeah. yeah. If it was a Vienna sausage, that'd be different. And what it was on that, it was just a plain ball Frank hot dog. <laughs> when we did it with the Twinkie when I bit into it and I bit into the meat like the first time I did the chocolate I literally just like swallowed it, it was like mm, not bad yeah but Chris fucked those things up dude yeah he like I, I was like Chris we're not recording anymore he was like no they're not that bad I can have hot dogs? a couple more too yeah. yeah oh he was eating them bitches bro. I grabbed a few more god damn day. you did too yeah Ugh. Damn, on video, you see me reach down and grab an extra Oreo. Oh, wow. The Oreos, the Oreos, were, yeah. good. Oreos were pretty good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I said, that's just like a French fry and a frosty. It's just salty oh, and sweet. God, like, I love a French fry. Pepperoni frosty. Oreos. When my mom was pregnant Quality. with me, she had frosty fries a lot. I wonder if that's why I like like that sweet, savory mix or whatever. You are kind of sweet. A little bit of sweet. I've never heard that used to describe a gay person before. Sugar in their tank. 
sweet just sweet oh i think it's a southern thing like you said it and i was just like i've never heard that and then recently i heard someone say it in a reel yeah i was People, just like well shit it's always been a southern thing but i think um it's, it could be one of those things too you never paid attention to it until you right you know right like southern fried tomatoes or fried green oh, tomatoes God, or something. i love fried green tomatoes the fried movie okra. or fried like, okra is amazing fried okra is shit yeah, dude fried, fried, fried you pickles. can't go wrong fried pickles yeah. i like to go to cracker barrel and fried get squash oh yeah fried squash with some ranch oh some hot sauce i like to go oh me yeah, and chili verde sauce oh yeah i like to go to a cracker barrel and i get the country fried steak and fried okra Hell yeah. and i'll dip the okra in the gravy that's probably the fattest thing ever but it's so fucking good <laughs> let's all just stroke our beards at the same yeah. time yeah yeah man shit it's have just, you ever had a uh, david have you ever had cow tongue or cow cheek i have not so good i hear it's delicious oh you, you're into that so too? good we went to the Mexican restaurant and got oh, it when we yeah. recorded the episode that never got released. That's right, yeah. Well, I live yeah. on a podcast, so if it doesn't come out, I don't know what happened. Gotcha. Was that the uh, police episode? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah see? You got it. Police, police yeah. officer. True. Off, officer. Yeah. yeah. We, we went out to the last uh, podcast. He's like, oh, never mind. Don't, don't we recorded that. like two hours and a good fucking song. Here's the song. thing, man. And a good song. Yeah. I asked him beforehand. I yeah. was just like, is there anything? Yeah. yeah, and I said, is there anything that's off topics? Like, if you tell me you don't want to talk about this, I won't talk about it. Yeah, he's just like, I don't know, man. I think everything goes. I'm like, and then all right. After, yeah. Even after he was like, he was like, if there's anything you want cut, we can cut yeah. it. And he was like, no, I'm fine with all of it. We literally go, we Dude, eat Dude, I edited it. Even the things that I would have let fly, I was just like, I could see how this wouldn't go. So I cut it out. Yeah. I chopped it all up. I sent it all to him. And he was still just like, nah, I don't put it out. Shit. I was like, fuck. But he took us out to a Mexican restaurant afterwards that's oh, yeah. not far from Dante's place. Yeah. I think he started to realize and, uh, while he, he was like, all right. Yeah. So Because then he was like, let me buy them a couple shots. Yeah. So. I don't think he thought I was as smart as I was. <laughs> Is. Arms. Ams. Arms. <laughs> You're getting the sixth time. Yeah, what are the, my favorite question I asked him, I was just like, he was showing us his car, and it was just a souped-up fucking Dodge Charger. Yeah. Like, turbocharged, like, just the fucking works. Probably a repo. Anymore. Probably a repo from, like, some drug lord that they turned into a cop car. Yeah. And I'm like... You ever just test that bad boy out to see how fast it can go just for funsies? <laughs> and he's just like, uh, no, of course not. <laughs> and then I, I was just like, I don't believe you. Yeah. yeah. And off the record. Like, we're like off the record. Can we give it to us off the record? Yeah. And then he shows you videos of him with like 120 in Oh, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the fucking snuff film. Yeah, we got uh, yeah. some snuff film. Damn. Dude, this dude, he pulls over. And we could talk about it because no one knows. No one knows who he is. Yeah, so. But Maybe a few people do, but we, they won't say shit. He pulls they know over. What's good for him. Yeah. He pulls over. They know what's good for him. He'll pull up on him. Pulls over. He Something. just like shoots a fucking deer. Yeah. Oh, shit. But you don't see the deer. Yeah, it's yeah. just in a ditch. Well, the deer got, got hit by a car, so uh, he was yeah. at least kind of putting out of his misery. But. but the video he showed me, he was like, hey, check this out. And it's just him driving, lights on, pulls off to the side of the road, gets out of the car, and then you see him walk in front of the vehicle, pull out his <laughs> pistol, and just pat, pat, pat. And then walks away and gets back in the car. And I'm like, what the fuck? The fucked up thing is, is I had convinced my sister that he shot a homeless person. Oh, God. <laughs> I, said, I said, yeah. I said, in the state oh. of South Carolina, it's actually illegal to be homeless on the side of the road. <laughs> and she was like, what? That doesn't sound no. like. And I was like, I said, oh, it's, only, it's, it's only the interstate. If you're on the interstate and you're homeless, it's illegal. Um <laughs> I was like, so these guys were like asleep, and because there's, if you detain them, they'll just go right back. The only way to get rid of them is you it's have, just to, you have to kill them. It's a Bill Burr joke. Yeah, it's like open season. And uh, she believed it for like a second, and then he was like, he's just fucking with you. <laughs> that was amazing. Anyways, he took us to this Mexican restaurant. Yeah, and they have tacos with either cow cheek or cow tongue. Okay. And I, when I tell you that is the most tender cut of beef you yeah. will ever have in your entire mm-hmm. life. I remember in the movie Hannibal, they talked about the cheeks being the best cut of any animal. Dude, there was so much. It was like somehow the weirdest combination of the leanest meat possible, but also the most fat surrounding the meat. I put it above brisket, honestly. Oh, shit, really? That shit was good. When Dante won't try it. He just orders like fucking corn dogs or some shit. Yeah. It's way better. Chicken tinnies and yeah. the ketchup. When you, um, 
when you get the cow tongue uh does it lick you yeah cow tongue is different i will say that you open up the taco like he got it open up the taco and showed it like it looks like it. mush well and the you know how your tongue has like ridges yeah you could still see the ridges and oh, I like I, taste buds yeah. yes and yeah. i damn near fucking vomited when i yeah. saw that shit Make out with your dude, tongue. it's so fucking tender dude oh <laughs> It's so good. It was gross. I'll eat some fucked up shit, but not like anything super fucked. Like I could Fear Factor, but I could never do it. Yeah, the, the really the food stuff on Fear Factor, I'm just like, ah, I'm not eating no cow nuts. No. See, I feel like that's the easiest part, man. I couldn't do any of Fear Factor. I'm a puss when it comes to like bugs and snakes and. Mouses. I could eat a roach if you want me to jump from one tractor trailer to another <laughs> at 55 miles an hour. That might be where I fall apart. You could eat a roach. Yeah, that's just for that, money. That thing crunches. Not just for funsies, but <laughs> yeah, there's, for funsies. If there's a hundred thousand dollars on the line. I'll eat a roach. I don't even think I could I'll do eat it. Five roaches, man. <laughs> Bro, what? I'm actually allergic to roaches, so I'll okay. hey, Joe Rogan. Hey, hey, buddy. I know the deal doesn't like Joe Rogan. It's kind of like our number one rival. Uh, speaking of Joe Rogan, I listened to his latest episode today at work. Uh huh. Allegedly, um, that shit was not good. Who, who's on it? It was some guy who was like an AI person. I think he worked for Google for a while. Mm. But the dude's like 76 years old. God damn. So it just dragged. Like, oh, I don't feel shit. like I learned a goddamn thing. No. Oh. It was bad. Anyways, that's my take on the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> Did you guys watch the UFC fight last weekend? No. Holy no. fucking shit. Yeah, it, wasn't. it was It was pretty good. Um... They should put that on WWE Network now that they're all tied together. We talk about the Mike Tyson. Oh, fuck no. Mike Tyson and Jake, Jake Paul. Paul yeah. fight. That's going to be a good fight, dude. A lot of people, I've seen people saying both things. I've seen people saying Jake Paul's not going to sign a contract where he loses, which I think is stupid because he's already done that. And then there's people who says Mike Tyson will agree to lose to him. Yeah. Oh. Power off. Oh, because the power is out. Yeah, power is the out. The power is off. Power is turned off. Thank you. <laughs> it's off. Jesus. It's out. God. <laughs> Jesus. Do you have anything you want to say to the podcast? I just have so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fire the dark. We talking about boxing. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna talk about boxing oh, and the artificial that? light? You gonna be easier? And ask the cops to yeah. yeah. What? You want to get a little closer to the microphone and ask him that question? Come on. Come on. Just, just ask. Just ask. He's we're making, a long day we're making podcast history right now. Yeah. Courtney's going to say something on the microphone. Yeah. I said something. Just ask him. Just ask him. Just ask him. Okay. Did you see that Seth Rollins announced the CrossFit workout? He announced it? Yeah. What? Like, what? 24.2 the open workout. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Yeah. I know he's really into CrossFit. Yeah, they call him doing yeah. a house. Yeah. They call him CrossFit Jesus. Yeah. Do they, Do they really? really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. He looks like it. He has a little man bun. Yeah. That's his he whole. used to keep his hair all down long yeah. and everything. Huh. And then he had disciples and everything. Or like two or three. But well, that's when he's the Monday Night Messiah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that was he, separate, he had, but kind yeah, of related. I think, he, I think he tied it all together as one thing. Yeah. He had a shirt. It was like him and like the Jesus paintings. It was pretty cool. Rusty, what do you have? Should. What does he have? I don't know. It's like a meat it suit. looks like part of the uh, rope from his toy, maybe? It was coming apart earlier. Just, just take it from him. <laughs> it's a lottery. That's the Deagles. That's what they'd be doing. Courtney, yeah, I we, think we want you to give us a live review of the podcast. What, what are your thoughts? Oh. What are your opinions? <laughs> what can we get better at? Um, I'm not a fan of your songs. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't worry. We, we dumped them. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't Mikey. It was you. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. That's yeah. what everyone said. Um, I think it's funny. It's quality entertainment as I'm driving to Fort Mill. There we go. Yeah. Right. Hey. Yeah. Nice. I'll look forward to it every Wednesday. Wow, well, she's so good at lying. You're going to be upset tomorrow. <laughs> I really do listen to it every Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, except last oh, week. Okay. Yeah, yeah, last yeah, week. Yeah, this week. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Now you can yeah. stay up on my editing, right? That's right, oh, baby. No, this might be one of the first times we've recorded the week of release, though. 
We always record the week of, don't we? No. Usually, usually, really. pre- usually you release on a Wednesday and it's like, usually like weekend. Oh, yeah. Thursday to weekend. Yeah, it's like only four days before, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I think Jake Ball stands a chance. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Mike Tyson's fucking six. <laughs> what? Talk about Jake Paul versus uh, Mike Tyson coming up. I don't know who that is. It's a YouTube guy. Either of them or in the boxing. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. That's a YouTube starter. Saudi wants to be a boxer, and I just want to fight one of the greatest of all time. Yeah. I'm scared because Mike's old, but yeah. I think if Mike gets pissed off, did Mike you see the videos of both that. of them training? What if he fucking yeah. dies during this fight? Mike man? Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> How old is Mike Tyson? 57. Yeah. He's up there. I don't think he's he probably on TRT or something. He's at the age where headshots are not going to be his friend. I know he smokes a lot of weed. Yeah. But when he when that he had that fight with uh, Roy Jones Jr. Like what three four years ago? Yeah. 2020. 2020. Mike, so don't worry about he, me. He stopped smoking yeah. weed and it, like he completely switched like flipped the switch and the shit Kanye says is affirmations for success. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be interesting for sure. Yeah, I think it's less a matter of uh, it. Should it really depends on how much of a hit Jake Paul can take? Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like every match he's had so far, he's been pretty dominant. Like he's he fighting yeah. washed up fighters, or yeah. people from MMA and yeah. a boxing match, or a wrestler and being yeah. yeah. I think uh, Mike's gonna. If Mike hits him one good time, Jake's gonna hook the fuck. Maybe, but it's gonna be good. I think it'll go the distance. But it's also been what four years since Mike Tyson's last fight. Yeah, it was that exhibition with Which, Roy Jones Jr. I was saying before that, and he cleaned him up pretty good, man. Like before the, that, it was like fucking twenty years. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know, but um, it'll be interesting. It's, it'll be on Netflix. I'm excited to watch it. Yeah, I wonder it's if it'll be weird. like not free, but if you have Netflix, can you I watch think, it? I think that's so. How is be. Netflix doing good again, or what's going on? Oh, with Netflix? Netflix is doing great. Yeah, yeah. They're I know they're having right. some hard times there for a bit, especially right. when they announced the uh, no longer share of family members yes. outside of your household. Right. Family members. <laughs> right. The CEO was on a. Uh, was on David and Dana's podcast and he was talking to they've, they've come along but they're doing pretty good okay yeah. that's a good episode you guys should go check it out um there's so many podcasts man yeah there's too many so many episodes yeah um which podcast do you listen to like outside of ours which ones do you listen to the most I listen to Joe Rogan I listen to uh Mark Bell Power Podcast with hey. Encima and that one guy um, what else do I listen to? I listen to nerdy stuff. Yeah, well, I honestly like listen to Fireballs podcast. I listen to Crypto Conspiracy Cult. I listen to oh, Couch Potatoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I yeah. don't listen to the Something Good for You podcast though. Do you not? I do not like that one. Well, I don't. I listen to your podcast. So. Yeah. Oh, 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 right oh, 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 so it depends on the guest. Like Theo's one of those ones, uh, and I hate to be that guy, but I'm a Joe Rogan podcast fucking fanatic. Like I listen to every episode, yeah. even if it sucks. Like I said, the last one was very boring. But Theo had uh, Dex Shepard on this week. It's a good. Yeah. Episode, cause I like Dex Shepard. He's funny. I know when I started when I worked at GNC is when I first started really getting into podcasts as well. So yeah. it was like Joe Rogan was the most consistent. So I just kind of. That's a good Jumped place to Jumped on that bandwagon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, you might see like five customers a day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've heard of them. I like, uh, I like <laughs> the Bad Friends podcast a lot. I only ever see clips of that. I don't listen to that one. Uh, Theo. They're, they're almost as bad. Of Theo. Theo. The, the Bad Friends, they're almost as bad as us as far as like yeah. the whole podcast is just about their life. Some podcasts just kind of. Can I start that? Yeah, you can start the microwave. <laughs> this is the Hagger Courtney podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta eat. Courtney, actually, why don't you, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Yeah? We can ask you about Clay. No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and how that was almost the funniest moment in our podcast history. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Guess it. Oh, that was fucking gold. Did you laugh during that? That prank call? Or were you more Oh, so- I laughed during the prank call. Yeah. But how oh, horrified. Yeah. yeah. He was like, you could tell, internally raging. And you were just dying yeah. laughing. Yes. At the end. Good He's job. not happy. <laughs> Does that please you? Me not being happy? No, 
Did you find it funny? I thought no. it was funny listening back to it. See? After I the fact, it was funny. You. What? <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, F right off, Dante. But, but when I broke it down, I was like, put me in that position. Yeah. Then you're like, oh, oh, it's not bad. Uh, except no one's ever loved you. True. Oh, damn. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Damn. Even Courtney looked at me for that one. No, it's, it's fine. Um, why don't we just take a phone call from a viewer or something? <laughs> <laughs> Phones look dead tonight. Yeah. We can call somebody. We can uh, we can see if Chris will answer the phone while he's at work. Oh, yeah, good. I was wanting to get yelled at tonight. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> awesome tell me how stupid i am i think dante's actually upset are you upset buddy? no no <laughs> you mean to reach across this table and hold your hand yes. i'm gonna guide you into this next section i feel better now did you guys really ditch the phones yeah we stopped doing music yeah oh you yeah. miss them now oh <laughs> they did us all live the other day oh yeah yeah, we, we perform Black Balls in front of the world. You want to do a song, Dante? No. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I don't have anything. We never do. That's what makes it fun. Do you want to do a Just song? Just improv it. If David will sing it with you. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. If Is Courtney will sing song? it. Heck no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do Black Balls, but in Spanish. <laughs> I've, I've thought about El that. El Huevos de Negros. <laughs> I want to do black balls, but oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Was that. my Spanish too good? <laughs> <laughs> I want to do black balls in in, uh, in metal. Oh, that's what I want to do. Hell yeah! I we can make I can make that happen. Let's do it. Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. You guys yeah. record it. I'll me. do the music and then you do the vocals. Let can me and Rash do the vocals? Yes. And just in case oh, I can't get them over here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's call them up right now. Right now? DJ King Rash. It's King Rash. I'm King Rash. I think my impression confidence came from doing King Ranch. So, yeah. So you're welcome. Did it really? Well, I'm welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. I didn't do a lot of it until I started going, King Ranch! <laughs> I'm on the podcast with this fucking guy. Where's my, where's the sound? He's not going to answer. You guys remember Jack Stefanik? <laughs> yeah. I want to, we should. a couple episodes since he's been mentioned. We should go to, <laughs> we should go to that Harley Davidson yeah. and ask to speak with him. Let's do a podcast live in the parking lot so it comes out. I want to get him on the podcast. <laughs> I want him to, I'm like, hey, are you going to be on our podcast? And they'd be like, um, Jack Stefanik? And then our listeners are like, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. And he's like, I don't really know why I'm on this. And we're like, trust me. You're a big hit here. <laughs> yeah, dude. Jack Stefanik. People know who the fuck you are. And people, people want to hear your side of the story. What's, what story? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he knows. Oh, I know him. You're saying oh, he knows what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. I'm not saying you know what I'm saying. You know, you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, I know what you're saying. David, you like to fish? It's been a while, but yeah, fishing's fun. Gonna take Dante fishing. Hell yeah! You wanna I, go with us? There's a pond by my house. Hell yeah! Is there really? I've told you this. You never shown me this. Oh, my God, you're Why busy you running from wasp. Yeah, <laughs> I have shown you. I showed you then. Did you? I, I was like, look, I was, remember I was like, look at our boats. We should take our boats to the pond back there. Can you fit a boat on the pond? No, that was oh. the joke. Oh, shit. God <laughs> damn it. I don't think I've seen the pond. You can see it from my house. Are you sure? I swear to Jesus. Is it like private property or like you yeah. have access my parents, to it? Or? Yeah, I have access to it. Okay. My parents so live on the lake, there. dude. Oh, yeah. So? We can go fishing whenever you want. You want to go fishing, David? Hell yeah. I love fishing. You want to go fishing, fishing baby? Guy. <laughs> We're going to go. <laughs> there it is. Oh, dude, season two. Season this two. fishing guy. Hell yeah. When does season two start? This is episode 32, so we still have 20 more episodes. God. I just wanted to be at 52 already. Damn, that's yeah, what the artwork's going to be. old, right? Yeah. Right? We're the running out of this ideas. This is getting old. We need something new. We need something fresh. We need nice something hip. Like we need something hot. David, so five ideas fish. for the podcast. Go. What was that I first one you just said? We're going to have pictures of you guys holding fish, like Tinder profile pictures for the... There we go. For Here's an idea. Yeah. We said that we were going to do this within the first 30 minutes of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should start doing the comedian spotlight right at the beginning. I think I think that's fair. Do you yeah. have one? 
I, I've had one for weeks. <laughs> I like how to well, keep getting to God. We'll get you this week. We'll get you this week. He's yeah. like a Russian or something. Does he listen to the podcast? Fuck. Well, then you can F right off. Yeah, you can dude. F right off. Why are they going to have him on there? No, fuck him. There's no comedian spotlight. Does Ty listen to the podcast? Uh, he he owes you at this point, man. Your parents fucking whined and dined the fuck <laughs> out of him. He, I feel bad. He did take me awesome. tonight. He's performing, at, uh, he's performing in Charlotte at a, at a strip club. Yeah, ha ha's and tatas. That's a real thing. Oh, that's I saw really, that. Yeah, yeah. he texted me. He was like, "What are y'all doing?" And I was like, oh, "I'm recording a podcast right now." He's like, "Oh, that's cool." He was like, "Do y'all normally record on Tuesdays?" And I was like, "No, <laughs> not at all." And we're not, we're not fireball. Where we record yeah. 15 minutes before we post. <laughs> he Ty's called cool me dude. to guess on like five minutes before he went live. Was it like record? midnight on a Sunday? No, it's like, oh. it like 9.30. Okay, it's about 9.30. He's like, oh, between 10 and 10.30, I'll give you a call. It like, sounds he, good. He always wants to Why did he ask so you late. about Twitch? He said he heard me talk about it on what, y'all show. Huh. Yeah, he listens. Uh, no shit. He listens. He'll come up to me like in the gym. I don't really like, remember us talking about that. Yeah. Every time he's on there, we talk I about it. Be on Twitch? Hmm? What are you talking about? Spoke, Spoke it on Twitch? Yeah. You yeah. all the time. See? Dude, remember earlier I said I had too many sticks in the fire? The other night. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I got too many sticks He's in the like, fire, hey, man. I was like, I was on last week. He's like, oh, yeah. there's a round table. I was like, no, the week before that. He was like, he was oh, like, oh, oh yeah, we called him. He was like, no, we sat in your kitchen and recorded an episode. Right I now? have <laughs> two jobs, one band, one podcast, one girlfriend, two dogs. Cut me some slack, guys. I'm glad and you mixed those man, it <laughs> One dog, two girlfriends. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, bro. <laughs> I still love you'll you, you'll Jessica. Stay for a minute. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Start getting shit thrown around. Me and me and Spove are gonna head on out of here. Yeah, we we're gonna have oh, right off. I'm gonna need you to <laughs> I'm gonna need you to log off. Go sit in the hallway. Can you guys just keep the mic recording while you're doing this? <laughs> who the fuck? Wait, what, who the fuck you? Who the fuck is Clay? <laughs> God damn it! That's so crazy, man. I used to work there, man. <laughs> What do you, what do you say? Oh shit! Hold dude, on. He said that place don't deserve. Yeah, me. yeah. Oh, you're I was too good cool. for that place, dude. I'm so I, glad I'm gone from there. I play dude, professional dude, poker I, now. I have been gone for literally three years, and they're still calling me. <sighs> I bet that was the biggest ego booster of his fucking yeah. life. I hope life. that he texted he probably what's his face about that. that oh, night. I'm sure he they did. told new people to call me. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> He's probably complaining about it. He probably went live on Twitch himself that night while he was playing poker. <laughs> Or whatever you do when you play poker. He's probably on ESPN if he's a pro poker player. Yeah, he's got a shirt that says GNC still calls There's him. no way, dude. He's, <laughs> he's full of it. One time I showed up at work, right? I was high as fucking giraffe testicles. I was baked beyond my years in the parking lot. <laughs> I had a clock in at 3 o'clock, so it was like 2.45 in the afternoon. So I started while walking to the mall. I started strolling down to the store. And there's fucking like six paramedics standing outside of the store because this guy had a goddamn panic attack and thought he was having a heart attack. Clay? Oh, shit. Yeah. Maybe that was his name. Really? The guy that we called? Yeah. yeah allegedly. Clay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, and then he made me drive him to the hospital. Who, Clay? Yeah. <laughs> So we put the only sign we had on the store that said be back in 10 minutes on the door and locked Damn. the fucking door. It wasn't 10 minutes. No. Yeah. It never is. <laughs> yeah. Talking to a paramedics when you're not expecting it, when you're high as shit. You're going to have a panic attack with them. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> There's your joke. I was just like, uh yeah. Is that a joke? There's your stand-up bit. Yeah. Is that funny? Yeah. Little, make you make it fun. It's a story. Courtney, is that funny? Exactly. There it is. <laughs> Punch it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen Mikey do comedy? Once, twice. At Tommy's. Yeah, no. Nice. Oh, she didn't even see me at the LA Tap Room. My best set ever that I still yeah. haven't gotten on video. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, I need to airdrop you the other one. Yeah. You have that? I recorded no. it on oh. your phone. Tommy's Pub was good. Tommy's Pub. That's a good one. I think she did better than you. Oh. Wait, what? You said what? I think he did better than you. My God, everyone Ooh. thought he did better than me. Ooh. I thought he did better than me. It was the room, dude. It was What's the crowd. The that, room that was funny as shit. That, 
That was a good one. That yeah. was two open mics ago. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah, you did – what jokes did you tell? You told the homeless – yeah. At the, at the open mic? The first tap – or um, – Homebrew open mic. Yeah, I, I did the gym jokes. I did That's the whole right, the, the black, gym the black joke. guy. Yeah, roasting the black guy. Yeah, yeah. So you killed. try to roast a black dude. You can't. They fucking yeah. win. They fucking win. Um, what do you say to him? You might, um, you might not roast me, but I bet you won't beat me in basketball. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and then yeah, I did that into the gym jokes about the uh, dude putting his dick on your face. It's real hit or miss, man. <laughs> open mics real hit or miss. Yeah, because the crowd's not really expecting comedy a lot of times. So. No, not at that one. At, the, at no point in that night was it ever quiet enough for comedy at the second one. The first one was yeah. fine, but the second one was You're welcome. <laughs> the second one was literally just one lady, like, in the entire time talking. She was drunk. She was. I, was, I could tell. She was drunk. I even said for my, like, set up that Jake Paul joke. I was like, you guys know who Jake Paul is? And she was like, Mike Tyson's going to beat his ass. Oh, and I yeah. Was like, oh, shit, yeah. I was like, cool. So she was paying attention at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the only thing she responded to. She like, should have been up there on the mic. Give her a mic. That's why you should have stopped oh, to hold her. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're missing a pretty big detail. Somebody went kick happy and knocked over two <laughs> fucking beer glasses. <laughs> one. No, there was two on that stool. Did I break both of them? I don't know, but there was two on the stool. I just stool. saw one come back up. Shit. Let's see. Was- oh, yeah. I broke one. The other one somehow survived. Yeah. Can you pull that up? Pull it up. <laughs> I think he's right. Yeah. Damn two it. fail, one survived. Yeah. I was That's so like excited. That's like $16 in beer. I know. I was so excited about that joke, too, man. It was a good joke. You're still going great with it. Yeah. I know. And then I was just like, I felt so bad. Yeah. And, and the bartender like, was like, no, it, no, no, it's joke. fucking fine. It's fucking fine. And I went, I'm Mikey Black. I fucking love you guys. And they were all like, boo, finish your fucking yeah. joke. And then at that point. Like, and then I just went, I just like finished the joke, but just like. Just monotone as fuck. Like you got the sympathy, like yeah, yeah. And then Hannah, the bartender, came outside. She was just like, "Don't worry, people break glasses all the time." I'm like, "Yeah, but what kind of people?" And then Dante was like, "Drunk assholes," <laughs> <laughs> which is true. That's the podcast. God damn it. Well, was it a good joke? I liked. It. I, I thought your set was good. Yeah. Hell yeah. Are you going to use that uh, Sunday? Maybe. Just make sure to check with for that show for the flyer and Facebook event page that we totally have ready to go. That's the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told her. I was like, if you just give me the other comics' names, I can make it. So, I'll how many flyer. comics are there? Don't know. We're just going to show up and just whatever happens, happens. Yes. Are you yep. Sunday? Sunday. Sunday, we, Sunday, Sunday. We don't have March seventeenth at St. Patty's Day, Bombay, Bombay Bar in Lugolf. Bar in where? Bar in Lugolf, South Carolina. Lugolf. Basically, oh. Camden. All I know is I'm getting off work. I'm going to Dante's house, and he's going to drive us there. Oh yeah. yeah. Are we going to record before? No. Do we have time? We should. It's eight o'clock. I guess we're going to record. We, we don't have to. I was just asking. Or we could record on the way there. Just have, I would just be holding both mic yeah. stands. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. It'd be like Steve O's little podcast fan he has with the mics mounted to the walls. Oh, oh that would yeah. be ideal. We should get we should get a podcast mobile. I want a van so bad. Yeah, I've wanted to <laughs> so bad, dude. When my car got totaled, I had a rental van. It was a Chrysler minivan 2023 yeah. like it had the sunroof the heated seats the sound system was fucking bumping dude oh, yeah and like all the it was just the front two seats and then all the other seats would fold down into the vehicle oh shit so you would turn the bass all the way up on the eq for the sound system and just play some fucking like flow rider or something <laughs> and just dude like it sounded so awesome. Imagine you, you guys pull up to your your uh, your set with that your yeah. heavy metal. Set. I'll do our new drummer has a. We are collective Saturday. Yeah, our new drummer has a Nissan minivan. <laughs> and yeah. then like you're like, let's fucking rock. And you gotta yeah. adjust the seat. It's like. Mm. <laughs> Da, 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 Pull up da, da. cooler full of soccer mom snacks. Who wants the orange slices? Yes. Who wants the yeah. Capri Sun? And fruit roll ups. Yummy, yeah. yummy. Oh, that's fruit salad. <laughs> I had to go. Uh, you'll appreciate this, Dante. Oh, fuck. I had to go uh, teach a new guitar player the other night to potentially try out for the band. Yeah. 
and he had a family pack of gushers on top of his fridge. Ooh. <laughs> How many did you eat? Five. <laughs> Five pack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was like, yo, can I get some gushers? She's like, yeah, man, help yourself. I'm like, uh, say that. Well, you said, yeah, you give said me it. Give me a limit first. <laughs> oh, man. Mikey, uh, Mikey's girlfriend, Courtney, where, where, where do y'all leave the candy here? Because I know he has some. We don't have any candy. Yeah, we don't have any candy. I told you. She definitely won't tell where he hides it because she don't know because he hides it from her. Yeah, I don't even want it. I just want to know. We do have some. Oh, that's not oh, my candy. Oh, that that's not my candy. That's I don't know what it is. Thank you, Corey. That's not my candy. Point that is us. not my candy. <laughs> Whose candy is that? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> There's only two people that live here, Mikey. <laughs> I don't like any of this. It can't be the dogs. Or candy. It? It's not my candy. Is that leftover from when we did the Halloween round table? Maybe. Oh shut up. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't think Warheads right now. It's German candy. Of course it's yours. <laughs> yeah, da, das Warheads. <laughs> Warhead. <laughs> what the Warhead? Das it's just a blonde head. Do you want a buzz cut on the front? the Warhead? <laughs> Guile from Street Fighter. Oh, yeah. Instead of an American flag, it's a fucking swastika <laughs> on his shoulder. Well. Oh, did I go too far? Is uh, that too much? I was going to say that's the perfect ending point. Oh. We're at... Two hours and 20 minutes. Yeah, I think uh, uh, that's where we call it, boys. It's only 9 o'clock. I mean, we can, we can keep going, but it's... What you looking at? It's a long episode. You was going to go to bed. Yeah, so are you. How you feeling, Hammer? I'm good. He's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, up to you, it's up to you. I, I couldn't care less. Couldn't, couldn't care less. Couldn't I hate when people less. say that wrong. When people say, I could care less, it's like, well... Then you yeah. care some. Yeah. Right? You know? Because you could care less. Exactly. It's couldn't. I Amateurs. couldn't care less. Wordplay matters. Wordplay does, in fact, matter. Here's a question I have for you. Okay. And we can end it after this, if you so choose. <laughs> what, what do you consider making it as a comedian? If I can pay my bills with comedy. Right. That would be making it from... I don't... Like, I want to be rich, obviously, but I don't... It's not about being rich. It's about just being able to, like, to do it full-time for a living. Like, that's how I pay for everything. That's making it. I think that's fair enough. What do you think it is? I say the same thing. Same thing? I uh, I went on Google, and I typed in, like, median salary for a comedian. Yeah. And it was, like, $89,000. I don't think that's bad. Fuck no. no. Not at all. That's not bad at all. If I can make 50000 I, like, I feel like we spend so much time comparing ourselves to like Shane Gillis or fucking all these big names that yeah, are making... The high end stuff. Yeah, like, like tens yeah. of thousands of dollars per show. Yeah. yeah. But you always overlook the guys that are making like seventy five to $100,000 a year doing comedy. Like, yeah. Or what about the guys that are like... Um, yeah, like doing that, like writers who are writers on shows. Oh, yeah, do, for sure. Who stand up on their own. Or even That's how Tony that, Hinchcliffe got started, yeah, was yeah. just writing for Roast Battle. Like, Or even people that do like cruise ships all year long. Like, think they're living right. their life pretty much on a cruise ship. Right. You know? More like the Vegas guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm Anybody sure. Anybody does Vegas shows out there. I feel, I feel like Vegas is like the the last act, though. Yeah, a lot of times. Like, yeah, a lot like of the bigger guys, like, kind of. Yeah. There. Like it's Carrot like Top or... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Carrot Top's... Fuck, like, that's the thing. People are like, Carrot Top fucking whatever. It's like, Carrot Top is probably making six figures. Dude. Yeah. He... I mean, to have a show for however long he's had it in Vegas... If we can... apparently it does very well. Like, he yeah. makes money. If I can tour and then just record this podcast and that's all I do for a living, that's me ever. That's the fucking goal. Yeah. Right. I, when I was younger, it used to be like, oh, I got to go to Hollywood and blah, 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 Be on blah. SNL. And now, I, I would like to at least be on there. Like, even if it's not like a, like a cast member. Like oh, the, it is an extra. Would be fun. Yeah, an extra or hosting or something like that yeah. would be cool. Um, but, of course, that's like high-end like goal stuff. Right. My life goal is to work with Adam Sandler. That's what I want to do before I die. Oh, yeah. Damn. But that's like my super, like. That's a lofty goal. Yeah, that's my super goal, right? But it's gonna happen, and you guys heard it here first. Yeah, you've already worked with Spade and Carter. Yeah, yeah, twice. Yeah. Who's counting? Close enough. Um, yeah, twice. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to get into voice acting. I think that'd be fun. There's a lot of money in that, and that's an easy like work from home kind of job. 
nowadays for sure. Somebody yeah. sent me some info a while back for doing uh, the voiceovers for like reading books for like ebooks. Yeah, and like just that's pretty easy to get into. Here's a yeah. cool thing about David that he doesn't talk about on the podcast or hasn't talked about on the podcast. He's friends with the guy that draws for The Simpsons. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. yeah. I met him through Twitch. He, uh, he's been an animator with The Simpsons since 2004. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Right out of high school, he got that job. Well, that like That's awesome. He worked on the, the movie. He worked on pretty much every season since then. I think he did take a slight hiatus, maybe at one point. Well, came right back to it. So they they come out with new new seasons like every year, right? Yeah. So I feel like you would have to take some time off eventually. Yeah. He got hit. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> More Chipotle? What's happening? What's going on with the deagles? And that's it. Yeah, I think yeah. that's pretty fair, man. Just to pay your bills and fucking go on tour. Yeah. Or not go on tour. Hell yeah. Damn. You making any money off of Twitch? How does that work? Uh, you can make money on there. I haven't I got people, to the point where I'm paying all my bills off. Is of it yet, similar but. to like TikTok Live where people will like send gifts and like... Yeah, they can do that. Or you've seen like Facebook Live where they get the stars. Yeah. And they're like a penny, a star or whatever. It's basically, they call it bits on Twitch. And people can buy like $7 or get them $5 worth of bits and they can give them to you. Uh, they could subscribe to you for like five bucks a month, whether it's a cash or a money donation, or if you got Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch Prime oh, shit. account, which gives a Twitch sub each month, so you can give it to whatever streamer you like. No shit. What? Yeah. Damn, dude. That's pretty cool. So yeah, you just walk go in there. through it. I got Amazon yeah. Prime. Yeah, and what you do with that is like every month you, you just go find it. A month. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's basically what it comes down to. That five dollars, <laughs> you split it fifty fifty with Twitch. So yeah, it's about two twenty five, two fifty. Yeah, then they tax it. That's a yeah. mega double. Yeah, yeah, it used to be. That's a mega double. Now yep. it's a mega single. Yeah, <laughs> that's a double hamburger now. Ooh, that's yeah. a whole topic, dude. Oh, How yeah. the fuck is a triple cheeseburger four dollars at McDonald's? I don't know. Yeah. What are you What are you trying to sell me? That <laughs> what are you doing? What's yeah. going on here? Yeah. Or do you ever see like a couple a couple months back they did the one dollar burger day? And a lot of fast food places were doing one dollar burgers, and it's like. What is these burgers made out of? Yeah. You're talking about like National Burger Day or something where yeah, they had the huge yeah, sales? Yeah. yeah. It's What's like, the best burger you guys have ever had? Um, I remember my dad grilled some burgers at the at the lake, and I was like, fucked up. I'd been drinking all day. <laughs> and I remember I put chili, I put baked beans, I put cheese, ketchup, mayonnaise. I put chips on that bitch. And it was sloppy, on that bitch. and it was just fucking the best thing I ever put in my mouth. Hell yeah! Well, that or a Five Guys burger. Yeah, Five Guys is good, dude. I love Five Guys in my mouth. There's a spot in downtown Monroe <laughs> that I went when I had jury duty, and it's probably one of the more impressive oh, burgers I've had. Oh, uh, oh shit! It's across from like East Frank Main Street uh, Bistro, or um, was it something Gr- Franklin Grill or something like that? Oh, Franklin, Franklin Court. Court. Yeah, Grill, yeah. And their burger, I think they call it like a Cadillac. It's a double burger with two patties, pulled yeah. pork on top of it, bacon, coleslaw. Yeah, yeah. that was I know it's exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Sounds good. You ever had an elk burger? Yes. Elk burgers are pretty good too. I've had moose meat Joe Rogan. before. <laughs> oh yeah, Arby's had the elk burger for a long time. That's right. Is that did legit it. though? Yeah. Shit. Based off of their ads. I know at Harris Teeter every now and then you can find elk meat, like ground elk. Yeah. It's farm raised, but it's pretty good. It's pretty lean. Very lean. Get some gains, man. Hell yeah. Get some gains. Getting them CrossFit games. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know you're seeing. Seth Rollins up there saying, hey, man. Burn it down. It's easy. All you got to do is row 300 meters. <laughs> without the sun. 10 actually, deadlifts. Without the sun, actually, you kind of sound like And then 50 double unders. Yeah. <laughs> easy for 20 minutes. Easy. That's it. Easy. That's it, man. If you don't score at least 700, you're a fucking chump. <laughs> You're a bona fide bitch. <laughs> bona fide bitch. I've had one bear. <laughs> Two bears. Two bears. What? Three what? bears. What? Four bears. What? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Who's child support? Not mine. <laughs> Five bears. What? Six bears. Who? Uh, D-Y who? <laughs> Not me. Not me, bro. <laughs> Not me. Dante, you want to take us out of here? Ladies and gentlemen...
<laughs> Boys and girls, people of all ages, hopefully you're at least 16 if you're listening to this. We want to say thank you for tuning in this week to this. David, how old are you, boy? 15. We, we hope you're at least, <laughs> he likes the show. We hope you're at least 15 if you're tuning into this. <laughs> what I said the whole time. Yeah. We'll fix it in post. Uh, <laughs> I got you. Cool, cool, cool. I got you. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this fucking episode. We had David Hammer, Courtney's last name. I don't know it right off. What is your... We're, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not black. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're friends on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Basic white girl name. Ah. Uh, there's an S. I knew, I knew there was an S in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, Smith? Yeah, I think. There you go. Courtney Smith. <laughs> and her social security number is. <laughs> David Hammer, Courtney Smith. For Mikey, I'm Dante. For Dante, I'm Mikey. Stay. Fucking black and gay? Awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've been listening to the Something Good Network. If you liked what you heard, you can follow us on Instagram, and check out the other great shows on the network. Link is in the episode description.